Hello, everyone, and welcome to our school. Hey! Well, it's not our personal school, but we do learn here. Yeah, and we're gonna be late for class, by the way. Oh, uh, what? The bell has been ringing for a while now, JJ. Oh, no, the teacher's going to swear at us. Oh, she scolded us so many times. Uh, it's okay, let's go. Huh, indeed, Mikey. <laughs> oh, let's go to the slide after class. Ooh, I like that idea. Cool! And then we can ask our parents for money for all sorts of goodies. Ah! But then we have to behave well during class today because otherwise our teacher will tell our parents. Yeah, let's be good. I want to get some goodies. Hello, teacher. Sorry I'm late. Yes, hello. Here come our latecomers. <gasps> but we apologized. Shame on you for being so insolently systematically late for my class. Teacher, this is the last time we'll be late, really. Please excuse us. Then I forgive you one last time for such boorish treatment of my lessons. Oh! Take your seats. Okay. Now let's get on with the lesson. JJ, hurry up and take your seats. Kids, oh my god. Who knows how many planets there are in the solar system? Uh, I don't know. Well, do you have any answers? Mikey? No, JJ, I don't know either. There are only eight planets in our solar system. Oh, wow. And by the way, oh, hmm. that was your homework. Uh, but we didn't know that. Okay, Mercury, Venus, I won't be able Earth, to remember later. Mars, Jupiter, She's Saturn, talking too fast. Uranus, Neptune. Oh! Don't forget, there's a quiz on this topic next period. Thanks for an interesting lesson, teacher. Uh, we'll be ready. We gotta go home too, Mikey. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. I'm not ready for the test tomorrow, JJ. I'm not ready either. Mikey and JJ. Well? I hope you haven't forgotten that tomorrow, you have to bring me a report on the types of weather in our state. Uh, Mikey, we haven't prepared anything at all. JJ, don't yell about it so loud. But Mikey... It's okay, we'll figure it out. This is a bad idea. As long as our teacher doesn't tell our parents. That's for sure. We can figure something out, JJ. Okay, Mikey, why don't we go have some fun on the playground? That's right, we wanted to go on the slide after school. Yeah, let's go. I'm so sick of school, let's go have fun. You're the one who's tired? Of course, I have so much to think about here, the horror. Uh, like what? Like how we're going to take all the tests and papers tomorrow. You really think a lot? Terrible. Oh. Two hours later. Kids, this is your stop. Thanks for driving us, Bob. See you tomorrow. I'll be sure to bring you something special tomorrow. Huh, okay. Bob's so cool, huh, Mikey? Yes, he always drives us practically to our house. Also, he is always very kind to us. Mom says he's a good man. Nice. Oh, hmm. Maybe we should hurry home as we've had quite a long walk today. Yeah, I agree. It's getting a little dark. I hope our mom cooked dinner. So let's go and find out. Yeah, let's go. Although I'm not really hungry right now, lunch at school is so filling. Wow, I'm incredibly hungry, JJ. Huh, Mikey, you're always hungry. A rapidly growing body needs lots and lots and lots of food. Yeah. To be strong. Yes, and also to be round like a balloon. No, that's not going to happen to me. That's what they all say. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, Mom and Dad. Hi, you came in so late today. How's school going, guys? Uh, It's great. I got a perfect grade on my test. Yeah, Mikey got an A+. Plus. Wow, Mikey, you are so good. Keep up the good work. And by the way, hmm. I've made you some food, so sit down at the table. Wow, that looks delicious. We're not hungry. Uh, Mom, we ate at school. Thank you. All right, then go to your room and get ready for bed. I just want to say that you are the coolest and best parents in the whole world. Oh, Mikey. JJ, take a lesson from your brother. Wait, what? Thank you both. Good night. Yes, yeah, sleep well, our boys. Good night. JJ, did you notice how cool my idea was? Hmm. Now we're the best kids in the world to them. But Mikey... They'll never think we're bad at school. Uh, and all we have to do is outsmart our teachers. Mikey, hold on a second. But we'll do that later. Let's go play on the computer. Mikey, why didn't you tell them I'm a good student too, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Now our parents think I'm stupid. Isn't that the truth? What? That's enough. Get off. Now I'm going to play computer. Hee hee hee. No way, stupid JJ. Hmm. In 10 minutes, okay? Ugh. Why is there so much paperwork prepared for teachers? Soon my hands will look like prickly cacti. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, what is it? Who are you and what do you want? Ha 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 ha, sweet TV woman. Aren't you tired of being treated so brazenly? Uh, From now on, you'll hate everyone. No, wait! <laughs> the next day... JJ, the game we played yesterday was so cool. Yeah, and that's why I didn't sleep at all. I still want to play it today. You can only do that if our deception isn't exposed, Mikey. Nobody's going to find out, JJ. What about our teacher? Oh, hmm. Uh, kids, good morning. It's time for school. Good morning. Are you ready? If you're ready, your dad will drive you both to school today. Yeah, grab what you need and let's go. Cool. Hopefully today will be as awesome a day as yesterday. Uh, yeah. Oh, you're my honors student. Oh. Come on, grab your bags and get to school. Okay, Mom. I'll take you for a ride. Okay, now we're going to grab a couple more books with JJ and head to the car. Yeah, Mikey, you're such a liar. Well, ha, ha. What do you want to put in your backpack? Well, a couple cars, toys, and a cell phone. Uh, viewers, what kind of things do you think you can bring to school? All right, everybody ready? Yes, yes Dad. Dad. Who lives in Old Town? Mom, Mom Dad, Dad, Mikey, and JJ. JJ. Who will always and everywhere win? Mom, Mom Dad, Mikey, Mikey, and JJ. JJ. Who is as agile as a fish in water? JJ. Hey. Three hours later. 
No, I'm cooler than TV Titan. No, JJ, you're a speaker in general. You can't be cooler than TV. Oh, uh, and we're here already. Dad, that was fun. Huh, I'll probably drive you both to school a lot now, but only if you both behave. Okay, Daddy. Now you better hurry up or you'll be late for class. Yeah. Get lots of good grades yesterday as well as today. I'll pick you both up from school. All right, Daddy, we'll do our best. Yes, you'll be more than proud of us. Bye-bye. Bye, Dad. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Yay! Mikey, Dad's picking us up from school. Cool. Yes, spending time with Daddy is a lot of fun. I wish it could be like this every day. Well, if he finds out about our problems at school, hmm. we'll never go to school this fun again. Uh, Mikey, wait, we still haven't done the report. It's all caught up, JJ. Oh, uh, what? I have the perfect plan to get us out of detention and bad grades from the teacher. Are you sure this plan of yours is going to work? Of course. Last time, she was so angry. Relax, JJ. This time I know exactly what to say to her. Okay, I'll believe you one last time, Mikey. Hello, teacher. Hello. Sorry again for our tardiness. You're hardly late this time, so it's okay. Oh. Take your seats. We are so lucky. Thank you, teacher. Let's go, JJ. Yes, thank you, teacher. So, like I said before, you all had to prepare paired reports huh, on Here comes variety. the fun part. Oh, no. Only Mikey and JJ didn't turn in their reports. You brought the report, didn't you? No, teacher. Our cat was sick, so we didn't do anything. Yes, that's exactly what happened. Kids, you realize that doesn't excuse you in any way, right? Uh. Does our teacher really hate animals? I thought the best of her, uh... I'm so sick of your excuses. <gasps> your end is near. Oh, my God! JJ, what happened to her? I have no idea, Mikey. Oh, my God! It's time, time to teach, teach you all the real rules. Mikey, she's got a knife. Teacher, please calm down. Oh, my God! JJ, let's go too. I'm so sick of you all. I can hardly control myself. Teacher, we didn't mean to make you so angry. Look out. Please forgive us. We just didn't want to study. That's all. Oh, really? Teacher, please forgive us. Mm, no. Oh, my God. JJ, something's obviously wrong with her. Let's get out of here. Come here, both of you. You'll, You'll be, be punished. punished. Run away. JJ, get over here. I'm running as fast as I can. We gotta get home soon. Let's tell the parents <gasps> about it. Don't even think about escaping the punishment you deserve. Oh, Mikey, there's iron doors. We can't get out here. What do we do? I don't know. I know what you're gonna do. Oh, no. You'll work off all your debts all your absences and all your mistakes. Ah! Oh, I feel so bad. Mom? Oh, was it a dream? Uh, oh my God, where am I? What is this place? Uh, I see trees. Right, what about Mikey? Oh, Mikey, wake up. Mikey, mom cooked lasagna. Ooh, that's a delicious dish. Mikey. Oh, my God, JJ, what's going on? I don't know where we are. Hmm. Look, you can see the trees. JJ, I know where we are. Really? I've been here a couple times when I skipped class. Hmm. This is the basement of our school. Wait, what? If we are still in school, why are we tied with a rope? JJ, our teacher's gone crazy. Huh, what? She brought us here, tied us up, and I don't know what she's going to do with us. Mikey, we got to get out of here. <gasps> uh. She's already here. Oh, no. I don't want anything to happen to us, no. How naughty children. Oh. It's customary to punish naughty children for their misbehavior. Oh, my God. JJ, I'm really scared. I'm scared of her. That's right, Mikey. You should be more afraid. Stop. What? Oh, no. For all I know, you've been pushing JJ to skip class with you. No, don't touch him. You're a terrible kid, and my methods will teach you good Mikey, life. please don't do this. Ow! Stop! Ouch! Mm. I get it. I get all my mistakes. Please stop torturing Mikey. Mm. Oh, no. You're brave. Uh, Do you really want to be punished for your brother? No, no. I just want you to stop bullying us. And don't stop me from educating this insolent No! Boy. Ouch! Ow! Mikey! Ouch! <laughs> you made him cry. Tears never help the cause. Uh, this lesson will teach him to overcome difficulties. JJ, I can't learn anymore like this. It really hurts. He's in pain. Ah, <laughs> uh, I was a little late at work today, but I don't think it's such a big deal. I wonder why no one says hello to me. They couldn't have gone home, could they? I told them I was coming to get them. Kids, I've come for you. Oh my God, what is that? Why did the school doors become iron doors? This has never happened before. My children may be in danger. All right, one and two. So what's going on here? Where are my kids? Oh, there's no one here at all. What's going on? Ow! Mikey! Huh, what? Ouch! Oh my God, was that Mikey yelling? <laughs> The lesson isn't over for today. Oh, my God. How long are we going to sit here? You will sit here until you realize the terrible things you've Mikey. done. Mikey. I can't take this much. You should have thought of that before you acted so horribly. I got to get free of the ropes and help Mikey. Scream all you want. Please. No, you've really pissed me uh, off. Uh, Dad? Now it's time for you to take responsibility for this. Uh. And you're very bad, kids. Hmm. What did we do to deserve this? Mostly you, Mikey. Wait, why? You're just awful. Yay. How can you act like that all the time? Daddy, save us. What? 
What did you just say? Stop hurting my kids. Oh. Wow, Dad, are you that strong? Daddy proved that women can be beaten. Uh, Dad, can you set us free? Mikey, you're not quite right. Oh, hmm. You can only hit bad women. Oh. Now tell me what happened here. Our teacher has lost his mind. Yeah, she pulled out a knife and started threatening us. And then brought us here and, oh no. <gasps> and scolded them for their terrible behavior at school. How interesting. They skip classes, they don't do their homework, and their grades are terrible. Oh no, Mikey. Dad, uh. I don't want to hear any more from you both. Dad. You'll both be punished when you get home. Oh my god. Mikey, we're in trouble. It's not just trouble. Oh, what? It's mega trouble, JJ. Oh my god. Viewers, hello everyone. It's morning and do you all know what that means? Hey, hey, hey! Mikey, do you know? Yes, I know that morning means a moment when we can play, have fun, and do nothing. Wait, what? Look, cartoons. Uh, you're partly right, Mikey, but it's not a day off. Oh, uh, I think I see where you're going with this. Hmm. On a day like this, you shouldn't be happy. So morning is when we have to go to school. Oh, that's right, school. Grab your backpack, Mikey, we gotta go. Oh, are we in such a big hurry? Yes, of course. But why rush to a place you don't want to rush to, hmm? Uh, well, Mikey, you have such a bad attitude about interesting, school, interesting. that's why you don't want to go. Hmm. I have a great attitude about school. That's why I'm rushing in. Oh, you're awake. And already so chipper, it's great. Oh, how I wish I was have your you age Have you packed your now. backpacks for school? Yeah. Oh, that's right. It's way past time to go. Oh, aren't we going to be late? Unless you're a little late. But it's their first day of school. I've already warned the teacher. Oh, okay. Let's go. I hope we don't get punished. It's not going to happen. Let's go get your father. I'm a little scared. JJ, it's going to be great. Hmm, I hope so. And if they try to punish you both, I'll punish them all myself. You can count on your father. I'll punish them with my mighty hand. Oh! So you can worry about nothing and go. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll help you if you need it. Nice! Mikey, you ready? I'm just mega ready, JJ. Cool! I don't like school, but I think it's going to be really cool and interesting. That's the spirit. I'm jealous. How did you feel on the first day of school? I can honestly say that I feel extremely excited. Write in the comments. All right, all finally here. Yeah. JJ, what are you always doing alone by the car? Well, I'm just talking to myself. Ooh. It's starting to bother me. Don't do that. <laughs> But dad! But daddy! No, no, and no! Wait, what? I'm not buying you a Lego toilet, don't even ask! But it's so cool! Oh, what kind of generation is this that their toilets have become cool? Uh, you better check out this school, it's clearly cooler. Well, we should get going. Yes, but first we have to give the kids to the teacher. Our first day at this big school, wow! Yeah. I'm excited, aren't you, Mikey? I'm rather waiting for the action to start, not this snot. Oh, wow! Your teacher should be here soon. Well, it will show you the school, the classroom where you will learn, and more. I hope I get to see the pantry. Uh. Oh, there's your teacher. Oh! Oh, you're finally here. I've been waiting for all of you. Hi. Hello, nice to meet you. I called you. <gasps> hmm. She looks so beautiful. Uh, okay. Yes, all that's left is to show your kids the school. Good luck to you both. Good luck. Yay, thank you. Well, it's time for us all to go our separate ways. I can't wait to see the school. When are we going to go look at everything? I'm getting tired. Let's go. All right, let's go inside the school. Yay, we're finally going to school. I'm so excited. Say goodbye to mom and dad. My darlings, I love you. Bye, mom. Have a good school day. Bye, dad. We'll be coming for you soon. Bye-bye. I will miss you very much and look forward forward to seeing you. So what's your name? My name is JJ and his name is Mikey. Wonderful, just call me teacher. Okay, okay. TV teacher. TV woman teacher. No, TV teacher sounds easier. Okay, JJ. So what is this place? This is the lobby. Wow. Oh. And there are vending machines with goodies in them. Cool. What's in there? <gasps> oh, it's a like and subscribe. Sounds great. Yes, this is the classroom. Oh my God. Let's keep moving. They teach kids to put likes and subscribe to the channel, huh? Nice. And this is our library. Oh. Be quiet here so you don't disturb others from studying. Wow. There must be some very smart people sitting here. Uh, well. Yeah, especially that pumped up guy. He's definitely smart. Are the pumped up ones stupid? Well. Let's move on. No, they aren't stupid. Hmm. So now we'll go to the top. What's in there? That's where the dining room is. Wow. So why aren't they stupid? They just have big muscles and that makes it hard for them to hold books. Oh, I didn't even think of something like that. There's a picture of our school's founder hanging on the wall here. Oh my God. Please respect his personality. Wait, why? Well, he did a lot of things for the school. Hmm. Like he made it mandatory to have a snack between breakfast and lunch. Wow. Wow, this is a really useful and tasty new addition. This is the dining room. Yeah! As you can see, there's a huge variety. Oh my god! And you can go eat at any time before class is over. Cool! I promise you that I will spend 100% of all my free time here. Huh, just don't forget to study. If you don't study, you won't eat either. <gasps> yes, yes, that's right. Next, we have an equally important room. Oh, hmm. The gym. Wow, I really love working out. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Here you can train, participate in sports competitions, and much more. So this is the place for me. I love biking too, by the way. It's a sport. Gym visits aren't mandatory, but I think you'll have a great time here. That's right. I'd at least go throw the ball in the hoop or pull a barbell right now. Hmm, I want to ride my bike. Uh, well, let's move on. Come on, Mikey. Okay, okay. Where do we go now? Next, we'll go to the classroom where you'll be learning. Cool. Uh, that's 
that's not what I'm worried about. Where's the restroom? Mikey, that's not a very valid question. Uh, how do you get to the restroom? Follow me. Now that sounded so much better. Oh, hmm. Huh. It's just that before, your words sounded like you were interested in everything except studying. Hmm. So the most interesting place for Mikey is right here. Oh, yeah, bad impression. We share a restroom for both boys and girls, so keep it clean. Uh, okay, no problem. Great. I'm not responsible for me. Oh, my God. So this is where you can leave your personal belongings and textbooks. Very convenient. Yeah. And this is the class you'll be in. Oh, I want to get in there already. Yes, I wonder what's in there. Then stop by and take any available seats. Okay, okay. Nice. So, this is the classroom. Oh. This is where you'll be spending most of your school time. Looks good. I like it. All of your classes will also be held here. Uh. And right now is the very first lesson for you about caring for animals. Oh. Take your seats. Oh, my God. Wow, I love animals. Yeah. But before I start hearing about animals, I want to take a little bite of this banana. Huh, what? I can't study on an empty stomach, can I? Mikey, you can't do that. JJ, I'm really hungry. Mikey. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, that was the best banana I've ever had in my life. Oh, my God. Now we can learn. Mikey, take out your trash. Don't worry, JJ. No one will even notice. Oh, my nerves are shot all right. Let's go. Oh, JJ, here comes that moment when we'll just sit back and listen to the world's information. Wow. Yeah, let's hear what the teacher has to say already. And before we start, I'll have some tea. Hee, hee, hee. Uh, two hours later. All right, kids. You don't know how to do anything at all. You can't read. You can't count. You can't do She's anything. She's so boring. Yeah, Mikey, I can't listen to her. When is it time to go home? Today we're going to learn the alphabet. I hope you can do that. Maybe. Oh my god, it's the Skibidi <laughs> toilet again. <laughs> What's up, kids? Want to have some fun? I'll give you a party. <laughs> what does he want to do? School is bad. I hate How school. did the security guard let him through? I hate that teacher, too. He looks like some kind of criminal or mugger in a balaclava. What are you teaching? Letters? You better learn how to rob and steal. You don't know how to do that? You're so stupid. I'll be your teacher. There I am. Let the fun begin. No one's going to babysit you. JJ, she's gotten kind of mean. I don't like it. She's got that Skibidi toilet stuck to her. All right, kids. You're all being held hostage. Everyone stay in your seats. No one is allowed to stand up. You got me. You're all under my control. Mikey, we're being held hostage. Oh my god. Am I being held hostage? What are you talking about? I'm going to tell my mom and you'll be fired. You're not my boss. Bye bye. Look, she's getting away. Stop right there, you stupid little girl. I'll get you. Ouch. Haha, -ha. Mikey, she fell on your banana. Oh, that's great. It's like a cartoon. Everyone stay where you are. I'll find out who's littering. In the meantime, I'm going to find that little girl. You can't run far, you stupid little schoolgirl. I'll find you. Mikey, it's going to be a long time. That's hilarious. While she's chasing her, we need to come up with some more mischief. A banana peel is just not serious enough. What else can we do for her? I don't know. Mikey, think of something. Oh, I got it. We could put laxatives in her mug. She'll drink it and poop a lot. She'll be on the toilet all day. Mikey, that's genius. Of course it's genius, because I'm a genius myself. The instructions say to add a couple drops. We're going to pour out the whole bottle of laxatives. Here's the laxative itself. Whoa, Mikey, where'd you get that? I stole this from the medicine drawer at our house. Mom and Dad don't need it, but the teacher does. Okay, pour the whole bottle out. Nothing's too good for our favorite teacher. It'd be cool if she didn't make it to the bathroom. That would be fun. Mikey, I don't even know who's angrier. You or the teacher? Of course I'm angrier. I'm the meanest little TV in the world, especially since she took us hostage. It's just revenge. We'll just have to wait and see. Oh, the teacher's back already. What? Why aren't you two in your seats? I told you to sit at your desks. Have you forgotten? I'm holding you hostage. You stupid green TV, you're really pissing me off. I'm so sorry. I'll throw you out the window. I'll beat you unconscious. Hey, stop it. Stupid little kids, I hate you. We're quickly seated in their seats. You're making me so nervous. You're making me crazy. Oh, Mikey, she's really mean. We just have to wait for her to drink her tea. That goes for everyone. Everyone stay where you are. You all belong to me. Now she's going to drink my laxative. Yeah, get your mug already. Your parents have to bring you the money so they can take you away. Do you understand? You're not going anywhere. She took the tea. She's drinking it. She's going to poop. Oh, that's some weird tea they're making here. What do they steep it with? Uh, I don't feel so good. I feel sick. Oh, God, my stomach hurts. Ow, ow, ow. Huh, here ow, we ow. go. Okay, kids. I have some very important business to attend to. I'll be back soon. Or again, maybe not so soon. Everyone stay where you are. This is an order. Oh, my God. I'm going to poop my pants. JJ, that's so funny to me. This is the best prank ever. She's about to poop all over the bathroom walls. It's real. She must have left a brown trail behind her. That's for sure. Let's go make fun of her some more. Come on, Mikey. Let's make sure the other teachers don't see us. I don't think we'll be seen. As long as there are classes going on all over the school, no one will see us. And there's her bathroom. Yeah, she's going to be here a long time. Open it quickly. It smells like poop all over the school. And here's another 
another prank from me. What, Mikey? It's a grenade. Yeah, a grenade. A real one. Take it and throw it in the toilet. It'll make a big brown explosion. To the bathroom. Yeah, the bathroom. All the poop's gonna be all over the room. Come on, JJ, throw Catch it. Catch the joke, stupid teacher. Oh my god, Mikey, there's poop all over, just like we wanted. Yeah, JJ, I wouldn't want to be in the bathroom right now. That's so funny. She's about to run out of the bathroom screaming. That's for scolding me and you. You have to be kind, people. That way you won't be covered in poop from head to toe. No, 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 I don't want any of this. It's a poop school. Banana peels, pooping. I'm out of here. Oops, looks like we chased the toilet skibidi out of our teacher. He couldn't handle our hardcore pranks. What's gonna happen to the old teacher? Uh, I don't know. Oh, kids, why aren't you in class? You're supposed to be in your seats. There hasn't been a call yet. Teacher, why aren't you in class? I'm feeling really pooped out. I went to the bathroom, pooped all over the walls. I don't really remember how I got here. The last thing I remember is some toilet jumping on my back, and then my mind goes blank. Whoa! Already ringing! Mikey, we gotta go home! Teacher, your class was the last one. Can we go now? Yeah, go home already. I have to go change my clothes. I smell so bad. I don't want to see you again today. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. JJ, it was really a very funny school day. Let's go home now. Yeah, Mikey. Let's go home already. It was really fun going to school. You're right. I wish every day could be this much fun. Friends, do you like going to school? Do you like to prank teachers? Oh, hey guys. We're a little late for school and it's making me nervous. Hey! But it's a good thing I'm not alone in being late. JJ, why are you standing there? Uh... Come on, don't just stand there. Come to me. Uh, okay. The bell has rung. We should be in class by now. Oh, we've been late a lot lately. Yes, but there was always a good reason. Uh, what's the reason? School is boring, JJ. Oh, uh, what? That's the reason. I disagree. The school is very interesting. Huh, why'd you skip class with me then? Well, you said it yourself. We've got a good reason. Well... Only it sounds like my reason was different than yours. Come on, JJ. It was fun. Wait, what? We were always doing something interesting outside of school. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, that's true, but now we're in trouble. Don't worry about it, JJ. Hmm. I'll tell you a little bit about the world around us. Oh, hmm. Huh. There is such a thing as the water cycle in the world. Uh, oh, and who is it that deigns to show up at school? Hello, teacher. Have you two lost your shame? Teacher, we're here for class now. Really? What exactly is the problem? You're both skipping class. You're both late. You both don't want to learn. Oh! Mikey, she's absolutely right. Take your seats already. Yeah, well, let's sit down to study, JJ. Yeah! Let's become the most obedient and coolest students in the world. Yes! Let's listen carefully to everything the teacher is going to talk about. Who knows why we have water in our rivers, lakes, and other bodies of water? I don't know. I don't know either. Water under the heat of the sun begins to evaporate and turns into rain clouds. JJ, and this is very interesting. These clouds then make it rain. That's called the cycle of water in nature. Wow. The bell has rung. You're all dismissed. Cool. Now I've learned something new. Teacher, thank you for an interesting lesson. Goodbye. Yeah, it's time for us to go home too. Yeah, we'll be here tomorrow too. Mikey and JJ, stay in class for a while. Wait, why? I want to talk to you guys about something. Well... It's about your behavior at school. Listen to me carefully. Mikey? We behaved calmly today. What's wrong with that? <sighs> I'm sick of your antics. Oh! I demand to see your parents as soon as possible. Understand? Mikey, our parents are going to be very angry. You're to blame for what's happening. Uh, Don't come back here without your parents. I understand you, teacher. Well... Mikey, what are we going to do? Oh, hmm. I don't know. Oh, my God. Our teacher strictly told us not to show up here without our parents. Yes, but if they find out about our truancy, we'll be punished severely. The best part is that we need to go to school. So we don't have a choice. That's right, JJ. Hmm. We'll have to tell our parents everything so we can keep studying. Oh, my God. I didn't realize it was that serious. I, too, had hoped that the problems would somehow get past us. Oh, and the day was off to such a good start. Yeah. Yeah. No, Mikey, can we not tell them about this? JJ, we shouldn't skip school. We have to do it. But Mikey, I'm uncomfortable. Very, very scary. Yes, I'm very uncomfortable with fear. Hmm. What are you thinking about? Well, I guess maybe it's not that bad. What do you mean? Our parents have always been good to us. Hmm. I think it could go well for us. Listen, you're right. It might not be that bad. Well... Let's just tell them how it really was and that's it. Oh, hmm. They'll definitely understand and help us. JJ, this is a... Uh, hmm. I don't like it. I'm nervous too, Mikey. Wow, JJ. But we have each other, so we'll be fine. Yeah, if anything happens happens, we'll both be punished. Yeah. Will you share in my pain and sorrow, JJ? Sure, brother. What about you? And I'll be on your side in case of anything. Nice. Oh, they're making dinner for us. Cool. I don't want to ruin their mood now. Yes. Mom and Dad, hi. We're back from school. Hi. And we have a little news for both of you. Hi, kids. Dad, this is serious. Our boys are good. Yes, that's good news about their progress, for sure. Yeah, let's talk about it over a meal. You shouldn't, or you'll spoil your appetite. Yeah, Mom, that's bad news. There's no way our golden children are having trouble in school. Yeah, it's weird. I'm waiting. Tell me, what's going on? Oh, hmm. 
I hope it's just a joke. Uh, okay, JJ. Well, it's actually not as bad as it sounds. Yeah, it's nothing. Well, you've both been called to school. Ah, uh, just an invitation to school. Great. I thought you'd broken something. Yeah, or get in a fight. Or started skipping school. Huh, no. It's no big deal, parents. You'll find out more at school. Yeah. Sure, it's nothing bad, Mikey. Yes, Dad. Just a couple of remarks. All right, we'll come by tomorrow after work. Uh, okay. That's a great idea, Mikey. Yes, but this deception can't last forever. That's right. Tomorrow they'll know the truth, but we have to be ready for it. Hmm. Let's come up with the most perfectly thought out plan to save us. Yeah, come on. Let's write a plan in a Word document. So write stage one, deceive parents about problems at school. Yay. Stage two. The next day. Wow, you have such a great office. Oh, thank you for the praise. It's all thanks to our school's funding. Mikey, you ready for the plan? Yes. So let's talk about your kids. Hmm. These kids have repeatedly skipped school. Mom, we've always had our reasons. JJ, did you trick me? Mom, no, we just wanted to help. JJ, stop lying to me. Uh, you and Mikey did a great job. Well done. Is that all you called us down here for? In addition, their grades have drastically deteriorated. Uh, They're at risk of repeating a second year. Oh, no, I don't want to stay a sophomore year. But Mikey... It's worse than a nightmare. But we just wanted what was best. It's all empty excuses. I don't believe And you. we had no idea about their problems at school. Kids, you told me not to worry. Oh, my God. Well, I think it's fair to deny these kids access to the internet and all technology. That's not fair at all. Yeah. No, I agree with you, teacher. Let them concentrate on their studies. Mikey, our plan has completely failed. And I told you they wouldn't take our word for it. I can't believe you've been skipping class all this time. If you were having problems at school, you should have told us about it. But in place of that, you cheated us. Mommy, Daddy, we really didn't mean to deceive you. It was just the circumstances. You have the circumstances. Heard about it already. <clears throat> but you also have obligations that you must fulfill. Go to the corner of the room. Uh, why in the corner? Why don't we go to our room? This is your punishment for deceiving us. And the teacher and I agreed that you both wouldn't use the computer for a month. Go! A whole month without a PC. I find that extremely unfair. Yes, we just wanted to help the people around us and now we are being punished. Uh, how long do we have to stand here like this? You will stand there until you realize your mistake. Hmm, okay, I get it. I don't get it. Hmm. And anyway, JJ, I think we should avenge our teacher for our suffering. Yes, we have been punished too harshly. We're going to have the best surprise for our teacher. Huh, what? She will definitely not like it. Whoa, ha, ha. Let's give her the most embarrassing moment of her life. There hasn't been a call yet. So I'm ready for revenge, JJ. How about you? I'm more ready than ever. Do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's how we do it, Mikey. I made a lot of flyers with her messed up face on them. Cool. Huh, look at that. Our teacher's going to freak out. Yeah, but that's exactly what we need. Yeah. Oh, we might do something else unpleasant. Let's discuss this after you're done putting up those flyers. <laughs> okay, okay. Can you imagine the reactions of the other students when they see this? <laughs> they will laugh until they drop. Huh, oh, yeah. After all, we did a real good job of messing up those flyers. Yeah. That said, JJ, I have a couple more ideas on how we can get back at our teacher. Uh, let's go to class. Okay, let's go. Uh, Mikey, tell me, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna write some not-so-good words on our chalkboard. Oh, isn't that too bad of a word? JJ, those are the sweetest words I'm willing to say to her at the moment. Really? Yes, yes, now you'll see it all and you'll understand it all. Mikey, I'm so curious. Keep your eyes open, JJ. Hmm. Here are my sweet words for my favorite teacher. Uh, Whoa, ha, ha. Oh my God, you've outdone yourself, Mikey. Yeah, but that's not the last thing I wanted to do. Mikey, look over there. Oh, hmm. There's glue in there. Why don't we pour it on the teacher? Teacher's chair. JJ, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Wow, Mega Brain. It's gonna be mega funny when he tries to get out of his chair. Yeah, Mikey, I give this solemn opportunity to you. Wow, this is such an honor, JJ. Do it, Mikey. Yeah, I'll make sure you can never get that chair off of you again. Oh, yeah, good job. Huh, can't wait for the very moment she tries to stand up. This is going to be fun. Yeah, and I think we should get out of here before she gets here. I'm not arguing. Come on, JJ, let's sit at the desk like obedient students and watch the whole show from the sidelines. This is going to be mega fun. Right here and now, our revenge will come true. That's right. We have everything set up for it. All that's left is to wait for her. Yep. Kids, hello. On my way to class today, I was collecting unpleasant drawings of me. <gasps> Doesn't anyone have anything to say to me? Whoa. This is just disgusting behavior for a student at <laughs> our school. Furious. We don't know who did it. What's this? Uh. Do you all have no shame? Oh, I feel so sorry for you, teacher. If you're sorry, then tell me, who did all those nasty things about me? I don't know. We have no idea who did this to our beloved teacher. All right, then. Let's begin our lesson. Today, we're going to talk about the importance of plants. She sit there, JJ, huh? Getting on that chair was her mistake. Yes, and pretty soon she'll regret hurting us. Hmm. After all, she won't get off our backs afterwards. Look! Oh my god! Plants help us absolutely everywhere. <laughs> uh, what's that? I didn't say anything funny. <laughs> Teacher, you look like you're inappropriate. Mikey, huh? Well done. Oh my god! What? Who said that? Mikey, I think we've been found out. Uh... Hmm. Okay, that's it for today. 
I'm going to ask everyone to leave the classroom. Can we come too? No, you both stay here. Mikey, everybody's going home and we're sitting here. That's not what should be bothering you right now, JJ. So you two seriously thought you could just bully your teacher like that and both of you would get away with it? You did us an injustice, so we did it. Ah, oh, so you think you can punish a teacher? Uh... Go to the corner, Mikey. We're gonna punish you. Only Mikey? Yes, he's the instigator of this chaos. I have no beef with you. Oh! As for you, Mikey, you've been Ouch. an extremely naughty child. Oh my God. Think twice Ouch. before you do something mean to someone. Ouch. Because evil comes comes back Help! absolutely Ouch! always. JJ, my ass is incredibly sore. Don't say things like that, Mikey, please. All I said was the truth, JJ. Okay, I agree. You've suffered a lot, Mikey. Hmm. Does it hurt a lot? Yes, but I think it'll be back to normal soon. That's good to know. Holy turtles, JJ. Why do we deserve to be punished like this? Hmm. You're so lucky the teacher didn't punish you as much as she did me. I think she thought it was exactly your idea, Mikey. Oh, hmm. Uh, although we were both in on it. Exactly, both. Uh, but apparently, yes, she thought I was the worst. But I don't think so. Who cares, JJ? We're gonna have to call our parents to school again. Oh, I don't want that again. <gasps> What's wrong? JJ, just look over there. Uh, okay. That's our teacher. Oh my god. Please, I'll do anything. Get in the car no, now. No, not that. Mikey, I understand our resentment, but she needs help. Totally second your words, JJ. Oh. Let's save our teacher. Yeah, let's do it, Mikey. Stop resisting and get in the car, you mop. I just wanted to get home. I don't care. Just get in the car. And you're very brave, even though you don't have a gun. We've got sticks. We're gonna beat you with them. What kind of weaklings are these? We're not weak. Attack! Get him, JJ! You're not leaving in one Stop piece. Stop it! Okay, okay, I hear you. Stop it, I'm out of here. Come on, get out of here, bandit. Oh my god. And I don't want you to set foot here again. Do you understand? Nice work, JJ. Cool! Now he'll know not to attack defenseless people. Yeah, because we are the guardians of order in this city. Are you all right? Thank you guys so much. I had no idea you would actually help me in a situation like this. Well, you're still our teacher. We had to help you. Yes, we just couldn't pass it by, as we always do. We're glad you weren't hurt. Thanks again, guys. I won't wait for your parents to school. Really? Just don't forget to study. Oh my god. Cool! Good night. Take care of yourself. And good dreams to you, teacher. Night. Good morning, everyone. I hope our viewers are having a great breakfast today. Hey! Yeah, Mikey? Yes, because breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Wow, Mikey, how do you know that? I know this because I do well in school. Oh, Mikey, it's time for school. Yeah, but first let's finish eating and watch some cartoons. Oh, ha, but we better hurry up so we're not late for class. Oh, hmm. Huh. Uh... Oh, Mikey, why is the news taking the place of cartoons? I don't know. It must be something urgent. Uh, it must be. Breaking news. Don't miss the main event of the day. I'm outside a prison for skibbity toilets right now. The most secure area in the world has been terrorized. Several criminals escaped today, including these two skibbity toilets. If you see them, call the police immediately. And don't try to deal with them yourself. They're very dangerous and cunning. Take care of yourself and your loved ones. Oh, my God. Mikey, I'm kind of scared to go to school now. I'm scared too. What if these criminals are walking around somewhere nearby? Exactly, that's what I was thinking too. Well... Let's not go to school today. Yes, I agree. We're not going to school today. Good morning. Oh, Daddy and Mommy, uh, the news said some criminals escaped. Look! Hmm. Oh my God, that's just awful. Yeah! We need to be more careful. This is a very serious situation. Let's all be more attentive, okay? Can we not go to school today? We're scared. Huh, don't worry. Relax. You can safely go to school since it is very far away from that prison. Well, if you're both so sure, fine. Yay! But I'm still a little scared. Uh, you. Daddy will drive you both to school in his car today. But I wanted to walk. Wait, uh, what? You'll go for a walk when your daddy doesn't have a car. Mikey, dad just fixed the car. Have a conscience. Oh! Okay, okay. Hmm, so? I installed a new engine and rewrapped the wheels. Wow! Now my swallow car will not just drive, but fly. Oh my god! Daddy, can your car really fly? Huh, no, Mikey, but my car is really fast now. Oh, hmm. Okay, stop asking me questions and get in the car. You're both late for school. Oh, okay, dad, let's hurry up. That's where the conversation should have started. Oh! Mikey, what are we gonna do? What do you mean, what? Uh, we'll just go to school and have a normal day at school. It's fine. But Mikey... Relax, JJ, and let's I go. I don't understand. Is everyone crazy? Or am I the only one who's crazy? It's a nightmare. Oh, JJ, hurry up. Dad. Oh, JJ, what were you doing in there anyway? Uh, well, what I... What took you so long? I was just musing a bit about those criminals on the news. Wow. Well, what did you realize? Well, I realized they're extremely bad guys. Hmm, informative. Well, I explained to your Yamama that you don't have to mop the floor every day. What does she say? She's surprised and says you can't do that, it'll be dirty. Ooh. Oh, women are amazing. Yeah. Oh, we're talking too much, the bell for class is ringing. It's not a big deal. Guys, we need to be more responsible with our studies. Uh, hurry up to class, hurry up. Yeah, Dad, no problem. Have a good day at school then, see you later. Oh, uh, thanks, Dad, we'll try really hard to learn. Let's put all our energy into studying. And I'm off to work. Oh, apparently Daddy doesn't want to give up all his energy to go to school. JJ, he's got a job. Hmm. He's been out of school 
school for a long time. He doesn't need to study anymore. Oh, that's right. We should be learning more, actually. Oh, yeah. Let's learn like Chinese kids in schools. Oh, what? It'll be an unforgettable experience, JJ, because we'll be studying 10 hours a day. Isn't it cool? Oh, my God. No, I'm against that kind of rigorous education in school. We'll go crazy. Well, the Chinese kids aren't crazy, but I agree with you. It's crazy. Mikey, you said that word twice. So what? You know what I'm talking about, which means it's okay. Hmm, okay, no arguments. Let's go to class. Let's start filling up our box with knowledge. Uh, hey, everybody. Mikey, was that a joke about the box? Yeah, but that's not what this is about. Look, the teacher's not in class. Oh. Which means we're not too late. Nice. Hee hee hee. We're gonna sit at the desk like we've been here all along. The teacher will have a hard time believing we're on time for class, huh? Hmm. Uh, Mikey, why isn't she here, do you know? No, I don't know where she is, but it's cool that we're just sitting around doing nothing. Mikey, that contradicts everything you said earlier about studying. People change, JJ. <clears throat> and their opinions change, too. Uh, oh, the teacher's here. Uh, what's with her? Be quiet, kids, uh, or you risk being on my blacklist of bad kids. <gasps> Mikey, she's acting weird. So now, time to meet my good friends, Skibbity Toilet. Oh my god! Oh no, JJ, it's them! These are the same escaped criminals from the news. Oh no! But why are they here? Oh, hmm. The prison is a long way from the school. You're all being held hostage by us now. <laughs> hey, silly kids. So what now, lady? Tie them up, and whoever fights back, destroy them. Let's go! <gasps> oh my god! Hurry! They can't catch us all! Uh, they're escaping. Don't slow down. Catch them Roger all. that, lady. We can't miss any of them. Oh, my God. JJ, don't you have any other words? How else am I supposed to react? I don't know, but you certainly don't have to say, oh, my gosh, every time. Hmm. Okay, let's think about what we're going to do now. I definitely don't want to go outside. They'll definitely catch us out there. I don't want that either. Hmm, well? But then we need to find a safe haven until this whole thing dies down. And this place shouldn't be in the hallway. I agree with you. Uh, oh, look at this closet. Hmm. It's the perfect hiding place. Wait, what? JJ, there's no time to think. Let's hurry up and hide. But, Mikey. I'm not going to be held hostage by these criminals. Oh. What about you, JJ? I don't want to be their hostage either, but Mikey... JJ, relax. That's a typical place we could only hide. Do you really think so? We just have to be found here or it'll be stupid. Who would think to look in a closet for two boys? Hmm. You think we could have run far, far away instead of sitting here? Yes, I think we could. I think that's what the teacher would think. Mikey, why don't we try moving somewhere else? No, JJ, this is the perfect place. Uh, okay. So, where did Mikey and JJ go? Oh, hmm. Oh, no. Did they run away before class was over? Oh, I really hope she just passes it by. Well, Please don't let them find us. Or did they just hide somewhere? Oh, my God. Oh, if you wanted to play hide and seek, you're pretty bad at it. Uh, Come here, I found I them. I told you. I'm sorry, JJ. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, no. I'm scared. What are we going to do with these hiders? Please don't. We will not destroy them. Oh, what? They have extremely wealthy parents, if you know what I oh, mean. Oh, hmm. We'll demand a ransom. Oh, yeah, we got to knock them out. Oh, no, 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 I'll be obedient. Oh, knock them out quick. Please don't hit me. <gasps> ah! Oh, my head, why do I feel so bad? Oh, where am I? Whoa, I'm in the basement of a school. Hmm, they must have dragged us here, but why? If it was for ransom, they could have kept us out of the basement. Oh my God, Mikey, wake up. Are you okay? Oh, hmm. Huh. Come on, Mikey, come to your senses. Uh, what's happening? We're not in a situation where you can sleep. Hmm. We're in the basement of our school, and I don't know what's gonna happen next. I hope we just sit here the whole time this nightmare is going on at school. Uh, Mikey, I'd try to get out of here. JJ, stop. Huh, what? The criminals are here, don't move. Oh no. Look, the one in the red sweatshirt, he's too noisy. Why don't we destroy it right now? Oh. No, we need them both alive. Oh, we're in luck. But nobody said we couldn't beat them up. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to get hit. We don't care what you think. Mikey! Oh, you're so worried about your brother, aren't you? Uh, then he'll be the first to feel the full spectrum of pain and suffering. Ow! Mikey! Ouch! I'll be obedient, stop it! Don't worry, you will also suffer like your brother. All right, enough with the empty dialogues. Hmm. We need to call the police and inform them of our ransom demands. Wait, why? I'll leave that responsibility to you guys. We'll get it done, lady. Hmm. Intimidate them in every way possible. Ha ah, ha we can do it. Oh! We'll come back soon. Oh no, that's too bad. Now, as far as you two are concerned. JJ, all we have to do is wait for help. We just have to endure it. You'll both have to pray you survive today. Oh my god! Oh, I'm so tired. With this work schedule, this job will drive me to my grave. I have to take a two-hour vacation. No, I'll take a three-hour vacation, yes. As they say, I've definitely earned it. Oh, once again, someone needs to save the cat from the tree, don't they? No cats, just kids for one million dollars. No way. Do as we say, and many of them will survive. Oh my god, more ransoms. More bailout requests. If it wasn't for the big paycheck, I wouldn't be helping anybody. Okay, I'm just tired. Everybody gather around. We have an emergency. Come on! Get a move on! We're stepping on the gas with all our might. There are children being held hostage, and you're walking around like it's none of your business. 
Come on! Oh, can I go to the bathroom? Oh my god, no! Five minutes later. Officer, we've sealed off the entrance. So far, we're clear. Okay, then it's time to negotiate. Yes, officer, sing them a song of fear in front of us. Oh, did I mention I used to be in the Glee Club? <coughs> oh well, no one's interested anyway. Let's get down to business. All right, everybody get ready. Yes, sir. Hey, we're here to discuss the ransom portion of the ransom. You're asking for one million dollars, right? You drove too long. Now the terms have changed. We demand two million dollars. And that amount will increase by one hundred thousand dollars every minute we wait. We also need a private helicopter. Yeah, that too. What? The amount of money that will come out of such conditions will be physically impossible for you. Do you realize what you're asking for? Mikey, can you free yourself from the ropes? No, JJ, I'm tied up too tight. I can hardly breathe. Oh, I heard some noises from upstairs, didn't you? What sounds? I heard police cars. Oh, I heard that too. Hmm. They must be preparing an assault. Oh, they're just preparing the assault. They're already doing it. What's going on in there? Hmm, interesting, interesting. Yeah. It seems Seems to me that good and evil are battling it out there right now. Oh, you sound like a poet. And who will be the winner? We'll soon find out. Oh, Mikey, you were right. He he he. Here they are, the last ones we held hostage. <gasps> Kids, are you okay? Yeah, just a little tired and beat up. Now let me go. Oh no, you won't see freedom for a long time. Cool. I will avenge my humiliation. I wouldn't advise you to do that, lady. Wow. Kids, are you okay, all right? Well, we're a little tired. I really want to get out of this chair. Yeah. They were beaten for hours, sir. All right. Keep an eye on the criminal. Uh. And now I'll release you both from the ropes. Just bear with me a little longer. Yay, thank you. You're welcome, kid. Now it's your turn. Cool. What's up? Oh, now I feel just fine. Yeah. Thank you for saving us. Who knows how long we'd be here if it weren't for you. It would be faster if the criminals were more cooperative. That's for sure. Oh, these criminals never want to compromise. Well, they're criminals. Hmm. You can't deal with them. Can you believe they demanded over $2 million? A what? And they wanted a helicopter. No, a helicopter. That's very cool. Yeah. I'd ask for that too if I were them. Uh, Do you have to be a criminal to get a helicopter? Kids. Oh, Mikey, let's go. Oh. Oh, hmm. Hurry up. We've already called your both parents. They're waiting for you both outside. Oh, mommy and daddy. And by the way, they're very worried. Oh, hurry up, hurry up. I wonder how dad was let go from work. Oh, that's right. He's never let go from work. I'm curious too. Everyone should be let off work when their children are in danger. Nice. Oh, it's been so long since I've seen sunshine. Yay, mom and dad. Yay, you're here. My children, are you all right? Yeah. Are you in any pain? Mom, it's cool. We're fine. Yes, we took a bit of a beating, but we bravely stood our ground. Oh my God. We got beat up by a teacher. She's in cahoots with criminals. Thank you for your work. You saved our children, thank you. You're always welcome. Mommy, I'm hungry. Oh, JJ, we're going home soon. And we'll have dinner. Yay! Cool! You should see how evil those skibbity toilets are, by the way. Yes, they threatened us all the time. Oh, you've been through a lot. Yeah! Okay, I gotta go now, goodbye. At one point, I got scared. Oh, goodbye and thanks again. He's so cool, it's good to have people like that. Nice! It's people like that that keep our world going. And it's time going. for us to go home. What are we having for dinner? I cooked fried crawfish with noodles. Oh my god. Ooh, fried crawfish. This just has to be delicious. Hey guys, why aren't you in school? Hurry up and pack your notebooks and go to school. Yeah, let them study while we watch cartoons. Yes, going to school is not cool and boring. Watching cartoons all day is my thing. You're totally right, JJ. Only losers go to school. Real boys watch cartoons. All right, real boys. Are you awake yet? You're already watching cartoons. I see you're not wasting any time. Yeah, mom. We like to lie on the couch and do nothing. No, you have to go to school. Yeah, your mom's right. Get ready for school. But what are we supposed to do there? It's very boring and there's nothing to do. I don't care. Get to school, both of you. Okay, JJ, let's go to school. We'll think of something fun. What's fun about studying, except sitting in the school cafeteria? I don't want to go there. But JJ, all kids your age have to go to school. In addition to the basic lessons at school, you will learn to live in the community. Now get in the car before we're late for your school. Learning to live in the community? We already know how to do everything. Of course, we go there because our parents ask us to. Guys, why do you go to school? Write about it in the comments. And I'm really late for school. Okay, kids, be polite. Don't swear or fight with your classmates. Don't insult your teachers and everything will be fine. Okay, boss. I'm following orders. I'm not kidding, JJ. Yes, General. We're following your order. You keep joking and joking, and I don't want to hear your teacher tell you how badly you behaved in class again. Dad, we're going to be on our best behavior. But we're not promising anything. Something could happen by accident. No pranks at school, do you understand? Yeah, yeah, we get it. Oh, honey, you're so strict. All right, then. Good luck to you both in school. Get to class already. If you're late, the teacher might get angry. Okay, we get it. Yeah, we'll learn all we can. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, bye-bye, everyone. Yeah, kids. Love you. Don't forget lunch. Bye-bye. Bye, Mom. Bye, Daddy. Bye-bye. We'll be good. Maybe, or maybe not. That's that's it, JJ. We're the bad guys here. Just studying, it's not for us. Let's go to school, JJ. Let's go, Mikey. You're right. We are the bad guys. We're gonna be the biggest bullies in school. Yeah, JJ, we will. Listen, Mikey, why don't we skip our first lesson? That's 
That's a good idea, JJ. Why don't we spend this free time in the cafeteria? They sell good burgers there. You should try them. Oh, who's the glasses guy? It's a new classmate. Hey, diver, stop right there. What? A diver? Why am I a diver? Because divers have funny glasses like you. No, no, I'm not a diver. You're divers. What did you say? Shut up. You dare call us divers. Do you even know what they are? Do you know what they do to them in prison? This diver doesn't know anything about nicknames. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, guys. That's it. Get out of here. Get out of our school. If we see you again, we'll beat you even harder. Don't. Please. Come on. Come on. Go home to mommy. Loser. What a mess we made of him, JJ. We're like real gangsters. Yeah, Mikey. We could still shake him down for some burger money. I think the bell has already rung for class. I don't know if we're late or not. JJ, it doesn't matter anymore. I suggest the same boorish behavior with the teacher. We're gangsters now. Yes, we're gangsters. Let's act like them. All right, kids. The topic of today's lesson is multiplication of numbers, and it's simple. The theme of the lesson is dumb teacher, and it's simple. Yes, an example of a dumb teacher right in front of us. What? Who's mocking me? Hey, hey, that's us. That was funny. That's not funny at all. You're both interrupting my class. Be quiet. I don't even know what you're talking about. We sat in silence and listened attentively. Yes, we sat quietly. Keep talking about multiplication. Yeah, let's run back to the board, you stupid woman. Look what I got. It's a banana. I have a lot of them in my backpack. Wow, cool. Let me eat them too. I'll give it to you. I've got some banana peels left. I should throw it away. And there are a lot more peels in my briefcase, so we should get them out too. Oh, she's starting to get angry. What a mess this class is in. I'm not going to let this go. These two are disrupting my class. What do I do? Oh my god, the whole class is covered in peels. She doesn't care at all. She's still trying to teach us. That's so funny. Yeah, JJ, that's funny. She puts up with everything. Yes, then we can afford more than just banana peels. Yeah. Three hours later. Ah, uh, I'm getting bored sitting here. JJ, there's not much time left. The last class bell is about to ring. Just be patient. Okay, Mikey. And for homework, I'll give you numbers 9 and 10 in your textbooks. I'm not gonna do my homework. Lesson's over. Bye, everybody. Class is finally over. It hurts my butt to sit in this uncomfortable chair. Yes, the home couch in front of the TV is much more comfortable. I'm glad to be able to go home already, too. Come on, JJ. JJ, could you hold on a word, please? Oh, Mikey, my teacher's holding me up. JJ, you're staying for extra credit. You wrote the test really badly. I have to tutor you on the topics you've covered. You're gonna be home late. But I gotta go home. My parents are waiting for me there. And a TV with cartoons. I don't care. Okay, Mikey. Go home alone. I'll be there a little later. Okay, JJ, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Mikey. So what are the topics I'm behind on? Why are you acting like this? You're very bad, two boys. You have very bad manners. Because we're having fun and your classes are boring. Are my classes boring? I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, you can fall asleep out of boredom. I try to teach the children as interesting as possible. So you think it's funny? I'm going to show you some real comedy. Oh no, what are you doing? I'm going to have some fun. You said you don't mind fun. No, I don't like that. And I'm sure I'll have fun. Get it! <laughs> Finally, he'll shut up for a while. I hate him so much. I hate the two of them. I'll have to knock the other one out like that. They think they're the biggest bullies at school. I'm the gangster. I can beat up school kids. I can bully them. I can stab them with a knife. I can do whatever I want. Here's my bomb joke. You're gonna be here all night. This is gonna be fun, isn't it? Yeah? Woo, I don't think anyone saw me. Time to go home. I got 20 cats in there. I gotta feed them. Being a school teacher and a maniac is so hard. Two hours later. It's so late and JJ's still not home. What do we do? Maybe he's just walking around for so long. He doesn't walk alone. JJ always with Mikey. Yeah, you're right. In fact, there's no way he can go outside at this time. School closed two hours ago. Where's JJ now? I'm so worried about him. Look, Mikey's home from school and he's fine. Maybe we should ask him. Yeah, you're right. Mikey didn't tell us anything about JJ. Yeah, let's go to him. That's so cool. I can watch TV by myself without JJ asking me to change the channel. I should be resting from my gangster business. It's not that easy, you know. Wow, how funny SpongeBob is acting here. Listen, Mikey, do you know where JJ is? He's still not home. We're all very worried about him. JJ, what? He's still not here? He stayed for extra credit at school at the teacher's request. If it still hasn't arrived, that's not good. What? Why would JJ have an extra class with a teacher? Did you make another joke on the students or the teacher? We told you not to prank anyone. Oh, we played a little prank on the teacher. I guess she wasn't that offended, but I'm not sure about that. But it's not okay to leave him at school for so long. We have to go there and get him. Because that teacher is acting a little suspicious, and rumor has it she keeps a knife in her desk. You pranked again! What? A knife in the teacher's desk? That's not normal. Yeah, it's a little weird. Then we should all get together and go to that school. We have to save JJ. I feel in my heart that something's happened to him. Okay, Mikey, let's go. Mikey, I told you. I forbid you from pranking at school. You hurt the teacher again. It was really boring in there, Dad. That's no excuse for your actions. Okay, we'll talk about that later. We'll try to get there as soon as possible. Okay, Dad, but the pranks were cool. You want to hear it? Huh, go ahead. And then we 
threw banana peels all over the class. Can you believe it? That must have made the teacher so mad. Yeah, Mikey, you're so stupid. Let's go to school. You're going to show us the classroom where you last saw JJ. Okay, go straight ahead. To the left of the stairs is the first classroom near the lockers. And here's our class. This is where we learn, and this is where JJ told me to go home alone. Now where are we supposed to find him? I don't know, honey. Me too. And where do you suggest we look for it? He could be anywhere in this school. We're gonna have to search every classroom. Honey, do you realize that this is gonna take more than one night, right? I understand. What do we do? Maybe we should go to the police. Yes, darling, you're right. Let's go tell the police. We're gonna find our son. The rest of the classes are closed. There's no way to search them. But how so? Where could he have gone? I'm sure he's around here somewhere. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have pranked so hard in this school. I hope JJ is found sooner rather than later. Maybe the police can help us. Somebody, help me. I'm in the chest. Get me out of here. What, JJ? I heard his voice. Brother, are you there? Where are you? We'll help you. Mikey, is that you? Help me. I'm trapped in a trunk. My teacher tied me up and locked me in here. Open that chest already. My back is all stiff. Okay, JJ. Now wait a little longer. I'll call parents. Mom, Dad, JJ's here. He's in the trunk in this classroom. What? In the trunk? Who put it in the chest? I don't know, but it was probably that teacher who did it. I'll have to talk to her. Open me up already. I've been sitting here for two hours. Help! Right now, JJ. And here's our little boy. Hey, JJ, we finally found you. Thank you so much. You saved me. Where's the teacher? I don't know. We haven't met her. Get out of that box. Okay, okay, I'm out. We're so glad you're doing well. We were so worried about you. Yeah, you scared us all. Thank you for getting me out. Mikey heard me. If it wasn't for him, I'd be sitting here forever. Mikey, you're the best. Come on, you don't have to thank me. I'm the reason you're here, just saying. Okay, we just have to get out of here before the teacher gets here. Yeah, let's just go home. Here I am. I'm gonna cut up your whole annoying family. No one will ever stop me from doing my lessons again. Oh my god, she's back again. What are we gonna do? We don't even have any weapons to defend ourselves against her. How convenient. Defenseless chicks. Ow! I fell down. Huh, what? She just fell on your peel? Yeah, it's kind of stupid, isn't it? Yeah, your teacher's not too smart. It goes like this. So I didn't eat bananas in class for nothing. My peels defeated a dangerous knife-wielding maniac. You got it? Who's the real gangster here? That's us. We're gangsters here. We'll have to tell the principal and then the police. She'll be fired and then she'll go to jail. Don't you ever raise your hand to my children again? Yeah. That's it, kids. Let's get out of this school and go home. Yeah, that's the smartest idea I've had all day. I hate this school. It's better to actually stay home all day and watch cartoons. Okay, JJ, Mikey, we're waiting for you in the car. Hurry home. Yeah, it's been a long time. It's night outside and it's time for you to go to bed. Yeah, yeah, we'll catch up with you. We don't want to stay here any longer either. Hi guys, my name is JJ, and today I'm going to visit Mikey's house. I haven't seen him in a long time. By the way, this is his house. He's kind of weird, don't you think? It's a little too square. I wouldn't be surprised if Mikey built it himself. Mikey, open up. JJ's here. Open your doors. I'm on my way. Hey, JJ. Long time no see, man. What are you doing here? I suggest you go for a walk. Look how nice the weather is. Yeah, the weather's nice. I don't feel so good. You don't feel well? What? Mikey, what's wrong? Mikey, why did you fall down? Mikey, get up. Don't scare me. Is this another one of your pranks? I think he's breathing. God, what am I gonna do? Oh, you're up. Are you okay? JJ, looks like I'm a little sick. I've got a little headache and I'm cold all the time. A little sick? You're sick in the head. You fainted in front of me. You need treatment. Yeah, well, I need to get better. I've been lying in bed for a week now, hoping it will go away on its own. But for some reason, it's not working. Mikey, you need to call a doctor. How do you know how to treat you? Doctor? Okay, can you please make the call yourself? Okay, it's no problem for me. You make the calls. I'm gonna lie down. I'm getting worse. Okay, okay. Get some rest, Mikey. I'm gonna go call call the hospital. He's really messed himself up. It's not cool to be sick. Friends, do you get sick a lot? Write about it in the comments. I've already called the hospital. A doctor should be here any minute to cure Mikey. And I have to meet him. Oh, here comes the ambulance. It's that doctor. Or this. A uh, nurse? Wow, she's cute. Somehow my heart is starting to beat a little harder. Hello, who's sick? Show him to me. I'll cure him. Are you the sick one here? Um, whoa. Sort of. Wow, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. Uh, I guess that's my sicko. He's pretty sick. And where are the decent people in here? I'm sorry, you're the one who called me? Hey, wake up! Stop being stupid! A uh, what? Uh, yeah, I'm the one who paged you. A friend of mine is seasick. He's lying in his house. Can you cure him? Yes, of course. I'm a certified doctor. I'd be happy to help your friend. I didn't come here for nothing. Let's go treat your patient. Okay, let's go. God, she's so beautiful. Uh, what did you say? Oh, it's nothing. My friend's on the second floor. Is this TV guy sick? Yeah, he fainted in front of me. He's free. 
freezing and he has a fever. Is the doctor here yet? I'm having trouble opening my eyes. I feel so bad. Oh my god, he's got a fever of 40 degrees. He's going to die if he doesn't get treatment. Yeah, that's a serious disease. Is it serious? It's horrible. What should we do? Okay, we don't have much time. We need antipyretic medicine. We also need an enema and a bunch of bandages. So get it out of your car. You're carrying the pills. It's not that simple. There's no medication in the ambulance. You need to run to the pharmacy. Hurry up and get the medicine. Hurry up or your friend will get much worse. Okay, I hear you. I can buy them. Mikey, hang in there. I'll try to get here as soon as possible. Stop talking. Go to the pharmacy. All right, I'm on my way. I think I'm in love. Two hours later. Well, friends, I bought all the meds, bandages, enema. I hope Mikey gets better from this. I also need to get to know the nurse better. She's all I can think about in my head. Maybe this flower will let her know that I really like her. And Mikey can wait. He's been in this condition many times before and he's still alive. Although I should be thinking more about my friend than my love affairs. He's sick. He even fainted in front of me. But on the other hand, there's no way that Red Rose would be superfluous. Oh my god, what's going on in there? Get that knife away from me. You, you sit, sit tight, tight before, before your buddy, buddy gets, gets here. here. Stupid TV, did, did you, you think you'd leave me? I've waited all these years to take revenge on you. And now I'm out of prison and I found you again. Don't worry, Green. I'll be back soon and you stay here. Don't go anywhere even though you're tied up. You're not going anywhere. Oh my god, once again I get some crazy people who want to steal us or kill us. And where does that stupid red speaker go? The pharmacy is five minutes from here, and he's been gone for two hours. What kind of idiot is this? But it's okay, he's totally into me. I saw the way he was looking at me. I'll definitely take advantage of it. Oh my god, and I have fallen in love with this? That monster? How horrible. I've got to save Mikey. Untie him and let him out of the closet. I can't imagine what he's going through. He's sick with a 40 degree fever. And back when he was a kid, this nurse kidnapped Mikey in a rusty truck and did her experiments on him. JJ, is that you? Let me out of here. She tied me up. Help me. Okay, okay. I'm gonna untie you now. She's crazy. She wanted to cut something off me. I can't say this on camera. Quiet, Mikey. Don't scream. But I would have been in a lot of pain. Mikey, I've heard that before. It's not normal anymore. We have too many enemies. Now we should call the police so they don't find us a second time. Yeah, Mikey. What? Too bad she turned out to be so mean. She's crazy. When she pulled her knife out of her underpants, I freaked out in general. I was so scared. You have no idea. Idea. I had just recovered when I saw the knife in her hand. Yes, of course, it's scary. Oh, what have you got there? Where? A flower. Did you want to give her a flower? No, of course not. Did you fall in love with her? You fell in love with a crazy nurse with a knife who wanted to kill me? Yeah, but she's so beautiful. She's only wearing stockings and you're already going to marry her. Somebody's, Somebody's gonna, gonna marry me? That's so sweet. No, I don't want to. I don't, I don't want, want to either. either. You're, you're a freak. freak. What? You're the freak. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna stab, stab you with a knife, knife for saying that. that. You stupid speaker. Oh my God, Mikey, get out of here. Save us. Where are you going? JJ, follow me to the the bathroom. Hurry up, Mikey. Lock the door. You, you think, think this clip-on clip -on door is gonna, gonna save you? JJ, it's gonna save us for a little while. Mikey, she's breaking the door. What do we do? We're trapped. Maybe we can break the window? No, the window's too strong. What do we do? Are we trapped? JJ, think. How do we get out? I'm thinking, but I don't have any ideas. Call the police on the phone. They can make it while we're sitting here. Mikey, you're a genius. I have a phone in my pocket. Go ahead and call them already. Nine, one, one. Hello, is this the police? A nurse is trying to kill us? Help us? Hello, where are you located? Large, square, green home. Come quickly. Roger that. We're on our way. Stay in cover. That's great. We're waiting for you. Hurry up. That's it, Mikey. Our plan worked. She still can't break down that door? Yeah, it's pretty sturdy. The door will hold her. Oh, it's not that strong of a door. You thought you could hide from me? No, please. Let's talk. I really like you. Let's have a peaceful, non-violent breakup. I don't care about that. I hate you both. You've ruined my life. But that was so long ago. And I had nothing to do with it. Shut up, both of you. You two stupid brothers. I'm gonna knock you out, and then I'm gonna do my experiments on you. What? Experiments? Ow! Oh my god, where am I? Am I in a hospital? Last time a nurse was doing experiments in the basement of an abandoned hospital. This room doesn't look abandoned. Mikey, wake up! Looks like he got hit hard. Friends, I hope you'll put a like on this video, and then maybe we can survive. Oh, what's going on here? Where are we? We're in the hospital. That nurse knocked us out and brought us here like her patients. I think she's going to do her experiments on you again. No, I don't want that. Then you can say it to her face when she comes for us. When are the police going to get here? I wouldn't want them to be delayed. You don't know how much I look forward to them. Mikey, we can't just sit here like this. We need to untie these ropes. Turn your back. I'll try to reach them. No, you're not reaching. We're both tied up with ropes. Oh my god, what are we going to do? Just wait for her to come to us? Or maybe the police will get here faster than she gets here. I don't know. Oh man, this is so bad. Mikey, she's here. The nurse is here. Here I am. You weren't expecting me? It's time to give bad boy shots. You want shots? I do. She's really crazy, Mikey. You know what? You'll be the healthiest you've ever been because of my shots. But I've already
already recovered. You're, You're imagining, imagining it. it. Well, who wants to get their first shot? Oh, not me. Please let it not be me. Mikey doesn't mind. What? I don't want shots. I am so annoyed with both of you. Your endless arguments just piss me off. Then let us go and we'll leave. Yeah, let us go and we won't tell anyone. Oh, you two are so smart. Did you think you could outsmart me? It won't work. Where are my super duper experimental shots? Oh my God, Mikey. She's got super duper shots. They're a hundred times more dangerous than regular shots. That's not good. I'm afraid of shots. God, I wish she hadn't found anything in those drawers. Please, I wish it were empty. Oh, I found it. There it is. The most experimental shot ever. And the biggest. You're very lucky. Put him in Mikey, not me. I have no idea what's inside. So you're saying the green one wants to get vaccinated? Why don't you make one? Stick that thing in me? No, no, no. Stick it in Mikey. What? What are you talking about? Give JJ a shot. He's in love with you. He'll take anything from you. No, I like you better, Green. Oops, and it doesn't hurt at all? You were afraid. Oh my god, what did you do? My legs gave out. I got a heart condition. What did you give me? Now it's your turn. No, 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 no. I don't want to. I'm allergic to the shots. I don't care. Every patient will get his medicine. Oh, what are those noises? The police? How did she find me again? That's it. You're going back to jail. You're gonna be there forever. We're being rescued, finally. Hands up. Nobody move. You're under arrest. Don't move, Chica. You are charged with kidnapping. You are also charged with using medical services without a license. They finally caught her. I can finally breathe. What did you inject them with? What was in the shot? I don't know. I mixed whatever I had on hand. Are you stupid? Why would you put such a disgusting thing inside a human being? Can you untie us already, please? Yes, of course. We went out to this hospital because you said you were being attacked by a nurse. I'm the best detective in the city. That's for sure. Thank you so much for once again saving us. We'd be lost without you guys. Oh, come on. That's our job. Cool. But I'm gonna have to ask you not to let that crazy nurse out of jail again. She's a danger to society. Yes, we will definitely take action. She even escaped from prison on her own. She'll never break out of prison again. Yeah, let her treat some other criminals. Officer, can we go now? Oh yeah, sure. You're free to go. Okay, we're out of here. But I suggest you get checked out by a doctor. Come on, I don't think we should. I'm better now and I'm cured. Let's get out of here, JJ. I think it'll go away on its own. You sure about this, Mikey? Yeah, JJ, bye-bye, officer. Thank you again. You're not even a doctor. Oh, oh, bye-bye, guys. Goodbye, officer. How's that, JJ? You still like that nurse? I hate her. I will never come to any hospital again. From now on, I'm afraid of all doctors. And most of all, I'm afraid of shots. Yeah, JJ, I'm afraid of shots too. Well, Mikey, what are we doing today? How about a game of football? I've got a soccer ball in my pocket. Whoa, come on. Only I forgot where the nearest football field is. Oh, I know where that field is. It's that way. Remembered. We used to play on that field when we were kids. Yes, we played there a lot. Back when I was a kid, this nurse kept me in the basement. And then I was saved by a detective. Yeah, you must have been pretty scared to be in that basement. However, we're still freaking out about what that nurse did again. Yeah, JJ, let's try to forget this like a bad dream. Mikey, look, there's a doctor walking around. Guys, hey, have you guys seen my ambulance around here by any chance? Somebody stole it. I can't find her. Uh, I think we know where the car is. Yeah, we know where and who stole your car. Cool. Where is it? It's just around the corner on the right there. Okay, thank you very much, guys. It's a company car. I would have been penalized so badly for losing it. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Don't lose your car again. Okay, I'll try my best. Yeah, let's do it. Mikey, it turns out that nurse isn't a nurse at all. She stole the doctor's car. Yeah, she's a quack. Last time she came in a rusty truck. She learns from her mistakes. But it doesn't matter. Let's go play ball. Yeah, let's go. Let's take a break from all this horror. It's been a long time since we played, Mikey. JJ, I'm not feeling so good. I think my stomach hurts. No, my whole body hurts. What? Are you sick again, Mikey? I don't want to call the doctor again. No, I don't think so. Uh-oh, this feels a little too weird. What? Mikey, you became a cow? I don't know. I can't control it. That looks like fun, Mikey. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> now you're a chicken. Haha. <laughs> what's going on? I don't want to turn into animals. It's that crazy nurse's shot. It's what's causing all this. Mikey, you're so funny. Now you're a fat piggy. Haha, <laughs> oh my god, that's so weird. JJ, how do I get rid of this? I'm scared. What if I turn into a pig forever? Yeah, that's cool. Awesome and funny. And now you're a sheep. Maybe you'll be a superhero. You can turn into animals whenever you want. Imagine being able to turn into a bear or some kind of shark or a whale. Just don't chew grass like a real sheep. Don't eat the grass, Mikey. It's not good. Turn back into a man. Why do I have grass in my mouth? I don't want to become an animal again. When will this go away? I really, really don't like it. That's awesome, Mikey. You're becoming a superhero. You're cool. You can walk the earth like a sheep, fly like a bird, and swim like a fish. But I'm a normal person. I don't
finally back from school. I'm so tired. I'm also sick of throwing grenades at teachers. Hey, everybody. My name is JJ. I got kicked out of class, so I came home. Did you get kicked out of class? Write about it in the comments. I was so bored alone at school. Mikey didn't come with me because he had a headache in the morning. I should go over there and take care of him. I don't want to go to school alone. Hi, Mom. Hi, Daddy. How's Mikey doing? Oh, hey, JJ. Greetings, JJ. Your dad and I are cooking something really tasty for dinner. Yes, it will be delicious. What about Mikey? Is he okay? Uh, Mikey? What about Mikey? JJ, Mikey's pretty sick. He's got a fever. Yeah, he's a bad luck guy. He is lying in his room. If you want to check on him, you can go up to his place. Okay, everybody gets sick sometimes. It's no big deal, right? Well, you know, he's been sick a lot. Yeah, he's no good at all. Go check it out. He'll get better. Or maybe not. Maybe he'll be happy when he sees you. I don't think so. Okay, that's a good idea. Mind your own business. You don't seem to care about his health at all. He's probably faking it so he doesn't have to go to school. Oh my god, Mikey, you're all red. Are you really sick? Hey, JJ, good to see you. Probably the last time I'll ever see you. I had some ice cream. I ate the whole freezer and got a little sick. You're so stupid, Mikey. You've got a fever of 40 degrees. You can't live with a fever like that. Mom, Dad, get over here right now. Mikey's gonna die. Drop everything and get over here now. What's wrong? What's all the yelling? Mikey has a fever of 40 degrees. Is that a lot? I don't know. So he's still warm. Mom, that's a lot. He won't live long with this temperature. He needs to go to the hospital right away. To the hospital? Is Mikey that sick? That's terrible. But how do you do that? We should call an ambulance. Okay, I'm gonna go make an emergency call right now. It's gonna cost us a lot of money to treat Mikey. So what? Mikey needs to be cured. Yeah, you're right. That's our son. We're supposed to take care of him. Okay, okay, whatever you say. All right, we're calling the hospital. 911, that looks like the right number. Hello, this is the ambulance. What's your emergency? Hello, my son has a temperature of 40 degrees. Okay, we're on our way. That's it. The doctor will be here soon to pick up Mikey. That's great. I hope he helps my brother. Two hours later. I don't know what to do. The doctor's still not here and Mikey's getting worse. So call again, yell at them. It's already getting dark outside and the doctor is in no hurry to treat Mikey. Oh, here comes the doctor. How late he's come. Somebody open the door. Nah, let daddy open that door. No, no, I don't want to open the door. Oh God, I'll get the door myself. Hello, I'm your son's doctor. We're here to take him to the hospital. Show me the patient. Hello, please go to the second floor. He's sleeping there. Okay, whatever you say. I'll take a look at him now. That's great. It took you a long time to get here. You know, it's fall. Everybody gets sick a lot now. Don't worry. Examine your patient at least. Yeah, my brother's really sick. All right, let's go see your sick son. I'm sure there's nothing wrong with him. Just a little cold. We've had a lot of calls like that this week. Ah, uh, I don't feel so good. Can you give me some kind of pill? His temperature is over 40 degrees. What? 40 degrees? That's a lot. How is he still alive. I have to get him to the hospital right away. I don't understand why you called so late. Because you drove a long time to get here. Can someone help me already? I'm dying here, actually. Okay, boy. Get up. We're going to the hospital. We'll fix you up there. You'll be the healthiest in the family. Okay, nurse. Where do you want me to go? Go outside. There's an ambulance. It's going to take you to the hospital. Hurry up, kid. We're not waiting for you. Okay, whatever you say. Finally, someone in this house will help me. No one's given me a pill all day. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be sick in that family. My parents only called an ambulance when I told them to. Mikey's face is already twisted from the temperature. Yes, it's a clear symptom of a fatal disease. Only our hospital can help him. Okay, let's do it. Get him over there. I'm going to be going to school without Micah for a while. That's sad. Don't worry. We have the best doctors in the world. We will definitely cure your son. And you, kid, get in the front seat. Oh, that's cool. I hope I don't throw up on the windshield. Bye, Mikey. Wait, why is the car so rusty? It doesn't look like an ambulance. And why is it rusty? Uh, well, that, I kind of am, I don't know. Really? That truck doesn't look like an ambulance. Why isn't there a cross on it? It's some kind of alien vehicle. Where are they taking Mikey? Hey, stop right now. You're not an ambulance. What's going on? It wasn't a doctor at all. We were lied to. JJ, it doesn't matter anymore. Yes, the most important thing is to hope they cure Mikey. Cured? You don't even know what hospital they took my brother to. It doesn't matter anymore. Oh, I hope Mikey will be okay. I don't like that rusty truck. All right, JJ, it's getting late. It's past your bedtime. Let's all go home now. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed. But you're not embarrassed by that truck? It's a little weird. So the car's rusty. It's no big deal. JJ, go to bed. It's late. We still have a lot to do. And you're in the way. You're talking about cars, trucks. But it's really suspicious. I don't think so. All right, then. I'm going to bed. You guys never cared about anything. Mikey's been sick all day, and you don't care again. And you guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Good night, everyone. Tonight, I'm trying out my new experimental substances. The lethality of these samples is about 99%, but that's okay. My test subject won't mind and won't put up any resistance. Hey, I don't want to. Get me out of here. Let you out? Are you crazy? You're my patient. You're sick, you stupid sick child. You're supposed to lie quietly while I inject you with experimental stuff. Mikey, you like shots, don't you? No, I hate injections. Don't, please don't, don't do it. We're gonna do it. Ah.
Ah, what's that sound? A cell phone? Who would be calling me this late at night? What kind of stupid pranks are these? I'll answer it anyway. Maybe it's something important. Or it's the school calling about my pranks on the teachers. All right, I'm picking up. Hello, who's calling? It's nighttime. JJ, it's Mikey. This TV woman doctor is torturing and abusing me. Help me. Call my parents. I'm in the hospital. What? Mikey, are you being tortured? Are you alive? No, no, she's coming for me. I tied you up. How did you get out? I'm gonna get you. Okay, bye. No, what's going on? Mikey's in trouble. That nurse is using him for her experiments. We have to tell the parents right now. I just can't believe it, guys. Mikey's been kidnapped more than once. Mom, Dad, wake up now. That nurse is treating Mikey. We have to save him. What are you talking about, JJ? Mikey called me. He's in danger. A nurse has him tied up and is hurting him. He just called my phone when he could get out for a few minutes. How awful that nasty woman touching our son. What are we supposed to do? We'll hire a detective. He can find Mikey. Yeah, that's a great idea. I read his ad in the paper. He can find anyone. All you have to do is call him. Okay, I think the number is plus one three hundred and two seven hundred and two zero. Okay. Hello. Our son was stolen from us. Help us find him. Hi, this is a private detective. I'll be sure to help you. I'll be there soon. But he doesn't know the address. JJ, it's a detective. They know everything. Oh, is the detective here yet? Looks like it. Apparently, it's too good a detective to come so quickly. We should open the door for him. Hello. I'm the detective on the phone. You said your son was missing. I need a computer to find him. Oh, hello. Yes, of course. We'll provide you with everything you need. Come on in. Okay. In addition to the computer, I need all the information you have on your son. Oh. Well, it's a green little TV man. His name is Mikey. Where was the last place you saw him? On the second floor. He called me on the phone. Okay, we got to leave. He was picked up by some nurse in a rusty van when he got sick. Okay, I get it. Let's go to his room. I need to see it. Wow, he's such an experienced detective. Where does he sleep? Uh, he always sleeps on that green bed. Okay, so where's his computer? Why do you need his computer? I just need it. Don't ask questions. So where's his computer? The computer's in that corner of the room. Okay, thank you. Don't think I'm playing games here. You can use it. I'm gonna use the last calls to track down that nurse's location. Then we'll go there with the police. Okay, that makes sense. Please find our son. I'm worried about him. Okay, okay, don't worry. I'm already looking for him. Just don't distract me. Mom, don't worry so much. We always get out of all sorts of problems. Everything will be fine. Okay, I found them. The nurse and your son are at the abandoned St. Nick's Hospital outside of town. Abandoned hospital? Yes, yes, that's it. Oh my god, I'm gonna find that nurse and I'm gonna get revenge for my son. Yes, we're going to that abandoned hospital. So, here's the plan. We're all gonna go to this place together now. We'll call the police on the way. They'll be here in a little while and we'll disarm the nurse. That's a great plan. Let's go. JJ, you're coming with us. Let's go. Okay, we're going to rescue Mikey. Hold on, my brother. We'll be there soon. Okay, here's the hospital our detective found. It's really far out of town. So, when I was figuring out where the call was made, I pinpointed the exact location. It was made from the basement. So let's hurry up and get in there. Yes, let's go already. We should split up. You take this path to the basement and I'll take the other way. Okay, okay, we're out of here. Don't get lost out here, detective. Okay, be careful. That nurse is very dangerous. Dangerous nurse. I'm getting a little creeped out already. But for Mikey's sake, we have to do whatever it takes to save him. Yes, we're going to save Mikey. Absolutely. I'm ready to tear that nurse to pieces. Wow, I've never seen my mom so angry. Oh, look. It's Mikey tied up on the table. Yeah, yeah, that's him. Let's go untie him. Let's go. As long as that nurse isn't around. Oh, hey, what good timing. Can you untie me, please? My back is stiff. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, just a second. I'm going to untie all the knots on the ropes. That's it. You're free. Yay! Thanks for saving me. Yay! Mikey's free. That's awesome. We were so worried about you, Mikey. And how worried I was that she would test all the substances on me. She's already injected a couple of them. Oh, turn around. She's right behind you. The nurse is back. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you guys doing here? I got some new bunny rabbits here? No, she's gonna give us her shots. We're gonna go crazy after she injects us. Don't do that, please. No, I will first tie you up, and then I will stab you in the arm with my needles until you lose your mind. Ha 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 ha. Who's that man sneaking up behind her? This is the detective who helped find you. What detective? What are you talking about? Hands up, lady. You're under arrest. You are charged with kidnapping and human experimentation. What? There's been a mistake. They came on their own. Yeah, we got that crazy nurse. Now she won't steal from anyone anymore. We're so good. I hate you all. Just sit tight and don't move. You're going to jail to make a fool of yourself, you crazy woman. And thank you, detective. I will find you and I will kill you all. Hear me. Don't listen to that stupid crazy lady. Okay, officer. Detective, you did your best. Thank you again for catching a dangerous criminal. Yeah, the detective is smart. Thank you, detective. Oh, come on, y'all. Glad to help you all out. It's my job. I'm supposed to help people. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thanks again. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're the best. Mom, Dad, I've been...
been waiting for you. You all got here just in time. Mikey, we hurried as fast as we could. They weren't in any hurry. Your parents gave you away while you were sick. Shut up, you stupid crazy nurse. I'm fine. I think it was fun. Happy end. That's great. Friend. Hey, everybody. Hey. Mikey and I are taking a walk in the mystery forest today. JJ, what are you talking about? Uh, it looks like an ordinary forest to me. You're just missing the mystery of it all, Mikey. Huh, did you come up with something again? No, it's true. Oh, yeah, right. <clears throat> Let's take a walk through your mysterious forest and see. Come on, come on. I'm sure you'll just be blown away when you see all the mystery. Huh. What makes you so sure of that? Because I've been in this forest before. Well. And I've seen something mysterious. Hmm, mystery, mystery. <clears throat> what do you even mean? Mysterious things can happen here. Oh, hmm. Look. What? I found something something mysterious. Stop saying that word. But I'm serious. Mm. There's a diamond block, Mikey. Stop. What? Diamond block? Yeah, it's got a delicious cake on top of it. JJ, hmm. don't you think this whole thing is a little suspicious? What could be suspicious about a diamond block? Oh my god, JJ. Mikey, don't you know? Well, I'm just crazy about cakes. JJ, you can't be serious right now, can you? Oh no, Mikey, I'm dead serious. What are you gonna do? I'll eat it, Mikey. Uh, I think this is a bad idea, JJ. But Mikey. It could be dangerous. I'm unstoppable. Oh no. Oh, this cake is delicious. JJ, stop. That's just beautiful. Holy turtles, JJ. Divine, marvelous. You're gonna get a stomachache. Huh, this kind of deliciousness won't make me sore. JJ. I'll eat him whole. You better stop right now. I just can't stop. JJ, let's go home already. Ah. Uh, JJ, I just blinked and you were already gone. Where are you? Mikey, I'm here. <gasps> JJ, I told you, it was a trap. Help me. Okay, okay, I'll get help and you try not to go anywhere. Hmm, and I can't go anywhere. There's no other passageways? There's only one way out of here and it's in front of me. All right, Mikey, run for help. Okay, JJ. I'll find a way out here. <laughs> What's this? Don't yell so hard, little boy. Oh my god. I'm the smartest skibbity toilet, and I'll help you get stronger and smarter. But I don't want to. Nobody's asking your opinion. No! Ah! We'll put on a show like this for all your friends and family. No! The best skibbity show ever. <coughs> Oh, is it night already? Uh, it's like a village near my home. Where's Mikey? Shouldn't he have called for help? Ha, huh, looks like I got myself out of that trap. I'm so cool, but I'm so mad at Mikey. Why didn't he come to my rescue? My home is so close. Didn't Mikey or my parents worry about me? Hmm, but they could have at least tried to find me. It's so unfair. Why are they so bad? I'm very interested to see the look on their faces when I get back now. So, hello to all my favorite family who never forgot about me JJ, for a second. JJ, you're back. Of course I'm back. JJ, I missed you. Hmm. I'm glad you're back. Lie. Let me make dinner. And I'll be working. Oh, how I've missed you, my dear unadulterated family. <laughs> okay, JJ. Hmm. Sit down with Mikey at the table and wait for me to prepare the food. Yeah, yeah, okay. And to smooth the wait, watch some TV together. Hmm. Yay, let's hurry up, JJ. Hurry up, hurry up. Don't make too much noise, okay? Okay, okay. Yeah, don't distract me from my work. Okay, okay. You won't hear a thing. Dear Mr. JJ, hmm. I invite you to sit down and have dinner with me at the table. Huh, no problem, my little favorite brother. Let's watch cartoons. Is that what you're so interested in? Of course it is. Really? Look at that Mr. Krabs, he's awesome. Mikey, don't you care about the fact that you left your brother alone in that trap? But I was going to call for help. Where's your help? I was alone in the woods. Hmm. And all you did was make sweet talk to our parents. Come on, JJ, let's watch TV. No, 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 no and no. Oh. You're just a terrible brother. <gasps> what are you talking Talking about. You're a terrible friend. What? I hate, hate you. Wow. You're just awful. You left me in that trap in the woods. Forget it. It's a misunderstanding. You just walked away and forgot about me. And now you want me to forget about it? JJ, this really is some kind of misunderstanding. We were just about to come looking for you to rescue you. Are you ready to prove it to me? Of course. I'm available to help you at any time. Then die now. <gasps> what? Uh... You're too loud, Mikey. Everyone's much better off without you. Hmm. Great. Mom still hasn't noticed anything. Let's get this body out of here. Huh, you're my first victim. And you, my favorite mommy, will go after him. But don't worry. I won't forget about my favorite daddy either. I'll save him for last, huh? And it's time to get out of here before anyone sees. I just have one great place in mind. It's time for you too, Mikey, to recognize all the despair I've experienced. It's a very similar situation. But the only difference is you won't be alone, huh? So one's ready. Kids, it's time for dinner. Cool! JJ, where's Mikey? He's not feeling well. Okay, well, you sit down to eat by yourself for now, and I'll finish dinner for Daddy and go check on Mikey. You don't need to check it out. Mm, okay, JJ, come to the table. Huh, okay. Bon appetit. Bon appetit to you too, Mom, and sweet dreams to you. Because you're going to sleep for a long time. Just boot up the computer. Huh, what? Why is everything freezing? Huh, don't worry, I'll help you soon, Daddy. You're next. But now I have to deal with this body too. 
Yes, Mommy? Oh, and Mom is surprisingly light. Hey, hey, hey! Mikey, I brought you your mom, huh? <gasps> I don't even have to put in any extra effort to deal with her body. Expect an addition to your little locked-in party, huh? <laughs> wow! I can't believe there are such cool channels. They have such great content. Whoa! I love that they have videos every day, so I'm gonna subscribe right now. Their videos lift my spirits. Oh, I forgot to click on the like. I need to do it now. Dad, dinner's ready, but Mom asked you to go down to the basement. Oh, they're so cool. Hmm. Wait, you said she's waiting for me in the basement? Yeah. That's a little weird. Why is she calling me over there? I don't know. Okay, JJ. Hmm. Now I'll watch the last video and let's go. But Daddy, Daddy, Mommy asked me to call you now because it's very urgent. But I have yet to write a comment under the video. Oh. Maybe she can do it without me? No, Daddy. She said she only wants you and your power. All right, let's go to the basement, JJ. Cool. My favorite, Daddy, you're trapped. JJ, did you say something? Uh, yeah, you love our mommy, don't you? Yes, of course I love her. Really? What's with all the questions? Nothing wrong with that. I'm just looking forward to your reaction. Uh, okay. You'll be blown away when you see her. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um... Oh my god! Are you okay? Yeah, I finally did it! Well, welcome! Let us go, JJ. We're a family, aren't we? Yeah, JJ. What do you think about that? Oh, sweetheart, what's going on? My darling. Oh, isn't that touching? Who did this to you? JJ did it! Are you serious? Yes! Explain yourself immediately! Oh, what? JJ, what kind of behavior is huh. this? Huh, have you thought about yourself? Oh my god! You know, Daddy, I always have a plan A and a plan B, remember that? Daddy, watch out! I don't know what grudge you have against us, but please, just have mercy! You're not sorry enough! <gasps> so you're grounded. Now daddy's in my power too. Look at these helpless people. This is so hilarious. JJ, for what? Hmm. We're brothers. Why are you doing this? You guys are so funny. What are you talking about? Oh, what did you do that for, JJ? Um, How could you do that, JJ? Forgive us. Huh? I'm in charge now, y'all. Get over it. What are you going to do next? And you all don't have to worry about that in any way. You're not going to do anything bad to us, are you? Well... But if you're interested, I'm going to throw the coolest party ever. What? A party? And you're not invited. Wait, JJ, let's talk. We have nothing else to talk to each other about. I hope you rot in that basement, huh? I don't think he's coming back anytime soon. What are we going to do now? I don't understand how this could happen. Maybe the grate opens. Maybe. Hmm, interesting, interesting. It's useless. Mom and Dad, I have a cool idea. What? Look, we've got ventilation in here. Uh, Mikey, your mom and I can't get in there. Yeah, sorry. I'll climb through it and free you. Um... I'll come out the other side of this cage. All right, I hear you. Yay! Let's go, Mikey. Be careful. Dad, didn't you know... Ah, what? I'm the best vent climber ever. Oh, my God. You won't even notice how quickly I'll be on the other side. It's time for Mikey's hero. Be careful, my boy. Mom, why don't you give me some brownies and a diaper? But Mikey... It's okay, it's safe here. Calm down. See you soon. Oh, who's he growing into? I don't know. He reminds me of someone. Well, who are you talking about? Huh, I'm talking about the woman in front of me. <laughs> Okay, why do you think JJ became like this? He's always been a good boy. I don't even know. I feel like we've been paying too little attention to him. No way. He must be very resentful. Five minutes later. Wow, I think I found a way out. Yes, I finally found the right way out. This ventilation shaft is a maze. I got lost three times, but I'm here now. I'm so good. Mom and Dad, I finally found you both. You're doing great, Mikey. Hurry up and free us. Now you're free. We can't take any more time. Let's hurry up and see what JJ's up to. He was talking about the party. Yes, let's have a quick look. I hope our house is still intact. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Mikey, you see yourself as an adult. Huh. Well, I am an adult, Mommy. Wow. Kids grow up so fast. Follow me. Lead us, oh hero, Mikey. That will save us all. Hooray for the hero. Hee hee hee. And now, surprise attack. Attack me. I'm ready. And it's peaceful in here. That's good to know. <gasps> Where is this music coming from? I don't understand. Is it just me, or do I hear music coming from the second floor? Yes, that's right. Oh, holy kebab. What's going on here? Where are all these guys from? I don't see JJ here. He really threw a party, just like he wanted. But not with skibbity toilets. I agree, they don't belong in our house. All of you get out of our house. Everyone leave, or we'll take you out by force. <laughs> Party's over, everybody out! And don't even think about coming back here. Too relaxed, look at them. Now you know what will be waiting for you in our home. I've memorized each and every one of you. Well, they're gone. That's it. Yay! Now let's all think together about what we're gonna do about JJ. Yes, I think it's infected with a skibidi toilet. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's find a cure and prepare a surprise appointment for JJ. Yeah, let's hurry up or he might be back. JJ, now. now we're gonna throw you a party. Hee hee hee. Three hours later. I wonder how my incredible party is going over there. Everyone must be having an incredible time hanging out there. Cool, everything's in full swing? Wait, what? Why is there no music? 
Have they all gone already? That can't be. I've done all the preparations. JJ, we're gonna fix you. Oh my god. Do it, Mikey. Don't you dare do that. <laughs> no! Ah! <laughs> what was that? JJ, your mind has been enslaved by the Skibidi toilet. Yeah, and that's not to say it was fun. But we saved you. Uh... Yes. And I hope you're okay now. And hopefully you won't hit us over the head again. Yes, please don't hit us because it hurts. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you all. JJ, you didn't do it. You were manipulated. So it's all good. Really? JJ, calm down. It's all right. Hmm. I saved you 100% this time. Uh, okay. So let's have the party of your dreams instead of regret. Oh my God. Are you serious? Mom, come on. All right. Hey, guys. Hey. Welcome everyone to our channel. Hi, my name is Mikey. And my name is, Look. uh, JJ. Look at this. What's wrong? Why did you interrupt me? Did you see how many people were there? Uh, it just seems unbelievable. Mikey, is that the only reason you interrupted me? Well, yes, but it was a good reason. Oh, my God. What? Mikey, you're just, uh... Hi, kid. Oh, hey, Mom. Hi, Daddy. Yeah, hi, guys. Is something wrong? Yes, something amazing happened. <gasps> will you tell them, darling? Yes, of course. Anyway, we're going to the restaurant. Oh! Mom, will they let us in? Of course they'll let us all in, my boy. Don't worry, it'll be great. Okay. There's all kinds of delicious food. And dessert. Yeah, there's all kinds of desserts. Mikey, we're going to have a great restaurant experience. Yes, I already can't wait to order everything they have on the menu. But Mikey. Let's go. We just got to get cleaned up before we go out there. I agree. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. Great. I'll go get ready too then. Two hours later. My parents told me we had already arrived at the right place, but for now, we're just walking in some woods. JJ, hurry up. Mikey, wait for me. All right, kids, keep it down. We're already outside the restaurant. Wow. Yes, so behave yourself. Wow, I'm all excited. We've come to the right place. Oh, my God. Elite restaurant. Let's go. Oh, how much money am I going to spend today? Oh, I want to say something. Well, Mikey, what do you want to tell us? I'll order whatever's on the menu. I don't want to think about it. I want to order that much, too. Oh, God, give me strength. Mikey, Daddy will go crazy if we order this much. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Why don't we order one entree and one dessert each? Good idea. That's what we'll do. Wow, there's quite a lot of people here. JJ, it's a restaurant. It's very beautiful here. Uh, okay. Hi, we had a reservation for Speaker Man. Hello. While I'm considering a reservation, could you please tell me, do you like our restaurant? Yes, your restaurant is considered premium. Glad to hear it. Your table's upstairs. Follow me. Great. Let's go. Kids, keep up with us. Yes, it's very easy to get lost in here. Uh, okay. JJ, what are you standing there for? Hmm. Let's go upstairs. I don't want to run here. Oh, hmm. It's beautiful here, but it's crazy crowded. I'm already a little lost. Yes, you can sit down now. Oh, how soft. I hope you'll be comfortable here. Yeah. The waiter will be here soon. Have a nice vacation. Oh, thank you. Phew, I guess we can relax a little now. Yeah. Yes, it's always a bit tedious. So, what should we order? I don't know. I think I'll have the meat and chicken with cream sauce. Ooh, cream sauce. Yeah, that's good. Then I'll eat the same food as Daddy. Oh, really? Really. And we're sitting pretty high up. I like that. Wow, there's the waiter. I have to decide what to order, too. Oh, I think he's coming over. Oh, I think I heard footsteps. Yeah, I heard something, too. I must have imagined it. Maybe. Hello, <gasps> my name is Dan, and I'm your waiter today. Hello. Are you ready to order? Yes, I'll have a steak, please. I'd like something lighter, like a salad. I don't want a salad. I'm thirsty. Oh, well, get us all some water, then. Nice. Okay, anything else? Yes, the kids have yet to say what they want. I want pancakes. Great. What's for you? I'll have a steak, please. Good choice. Thank you. So, two plates of steak, one salad, one pancake, and a drink. Your order will be ready in 30 minutes. Wow, 30 minutes. That's quite a lot. In fact, JJ, with all the talking, time will pass very quickly. That's true, but 30 minutes, Mikey. I understand you. Guys, the time will fly by. Uh, so let's relax and enjoy the experience of this dear place. Yeah, JJ, relax. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to relax here for a while. By the way, hmm. I've been wanting to remodel the kitchen and the kids' room for wow. a long time. Mommy, are you serious? Yes, you both have grown up a bit. Oh! I think your room should be changed a bit. Cool! Oh, Linguini, will you be done with the soup soon? Just a minute. Wah, my pork's almost done. We're on fire. That's fine. Hey, I brought the order. Hmm. All right, cooks, listen up. Say your words. Two plates of steak, one salad, one pancake, and a drink. Hmm. Do you understand? Oh, brother, of course I understand your English words. Oh, that man. Everything will be at its best. Great! Come on, come on, get to work. Rami, we're out of salad preparations. Then make them, Linguini. Yes, sir. Come on, come on. Uh, this job will make a rat out of me, not a cook. Five minutes later. So, is the steak ready, huh? Yeah, it's almost done. Oh, it's lunchtime. Rami, sir, finish your work and let's go to lunch. Oh, yes, Linguini. Food first, then work. Yes, I got really hungry while I was cooking those steaks. I'm hungry, too. Let's go. Come on, let's go cool off outside and eat. Go! So, is there any order ready? Oh, what? 
Where'd they go? Uh, is anyone here? Hmm, there's no one here. Okay, I think they just went on break. I'll just take the finished dish. Oh, it's steak. Hmm, should I take it? Uh, I don't know. Okay, I guess that'll do. This dish looks fully cooked, so I'll take it to the family that came recently. At least I'll give away one cooked dish. JJ, we've been talking for 10 minutes. Have you noticed that? Oh, that's right. Really? I didn't even notice. Yeah, me too. You're right, Dad. Ah, cool. Hmm, time went by really fast, but I'm still hungry. I'm very hungry too. Calm down. There'll be food soon. But the waiting is so tedious, Daddy. Yes, darling. I told you they'd get tired of being here. Yeah, I'm a little tired already. Oh, I've been looking all over for you. Yeah. Our cooks are on break, so only one dish is ready. What? Uh, Sorry for the inconvenience. Well, if that's the case, there's no choice. Bon appetit, Mom. Yes, bon appetit, dear guests. Mmm, the meat is the best. It's tender. The meat must be fresh, speaker man. Mom, make us some fresh meat. Oh, what's going on? Uh, was there something you didn't like? Yeah, I didn't like you. Dad? Oh, huh? Oh my god, wait, let's talk about this. Uh-uh, no. <gasps> oh my god! JJ, this is a nightmare. He destroyed that waiter. Daddy, what have you done? What are we gonna do now? Oh no, it's panic. <gasps> oh my god! Now it's your turn to suffer, Mikey and JJ. JJ, it looks like our parents have been infected with something. They've gotten very angry. Looks like you're right. Let's get out of here. What do you think happened to them? I don't know, Mikey, but they're definitely not our parents anymore. Let's get away from them as fast as we can. Go, go, go. JJ, I'm really scared. What are we going to do now? I don't know yet. Oh my goodness, they're coming down. Come on, we gotta hide. Mikey, come here. Oh no, Mikey, where'd you run off to? I hope he's okay. I hope they don't find me. It's a kitchen, there's always a place to hide. I just need to find a good place to hide. Hmm. Oh, it's a refrigerator. I can fit in there. It's a good place to hide. I don't think anyone will find me here. I wonder how Mikey is doing. Is he okay? What? What are those noises? I should hide as soon as possible so they don't find me. I hope that refrigerator is off. Ooh, it's freezing in here. But I guess it's better than getting caught with evil parents. So, what do we have here? I heard some noises. There's definitely someone hiding in here. Someone's in the kitchen. We better see who it is. Maybe Mikey's here. What? Who's hiding in the fridge? Ah, uh, it's my little boy, JJ. Come to me. Don't be afraid. I'll make it quick. You won't understand anything. Oh, no. She found me. What am I supposed to do now? JJ, son, I know you're here. Don't be afraid. It'll go very quickly. You don't want to open it for me? Then I'll open it. What? It can't be. I was sure he was here. Then where did he go? Mom, I'm sorry, but it's for your own good and Mikey and I's safety. What? Let me out. Now. I'm sorry, Mom. Mom been stopped. Now we have to help Mikey with Dad. I hope he's okay. Now all that's left is to find Mikey. Just where could he be? He's not here. And there's nothing here either. Help me. It's Mikey. The scream came from upstairs. I'm gotta go check it out. I wish he was okay. I'm so worried about him. Oh, no. It's our evil father. And Mikey's tied to the table. I'm gotta do something fast. Or I'm gonna lose my brother. But just what? Hmm, I should look around the room. Maybe I'll find something. Oh, it's the radio. That'll help me. I think I've got an idea. No, Dad, please don't do this. I'm your son, Mikey. You're not my son anymore. No one and nothing can stop me. It's all over for you now. Goodbye, Mikey. What? What's that sound? That's a radio? Yes, it worked. He fell for the radio. And who turned on the radio? Hmm. Well, never mind. I'll just go turn it off. How do I turn this thing off? Yeah, I think this is my chance to save Mikey. Psst. Mikey, how are you? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for coming to get me. Before our father sees, I have to untie you and get out of here. All right, Mikey, I've untied you. Get up and let's get out of here. Hey, you. Where are you going? Stop right there. Get out of here. I agree with you. Halt to whom I say no. I'll find you anyway. JJ, what are we going to do now? Oh, no. Our father is coming. First, we need to hide. Let's run to the kitchen. Where's he gone? There he is. Mikey, run. 
So, Mikey, while we're running, I've got a plan. We'll put a rope under his leg so he falls, and when he's unconscious, we'll give him the antidote. Okay, I'm 100% sure that antidote is in here somewhere. Kids, I'm coming for you. I know you're out there. Ouch. Yay, Mikey, we did it. Now, we gotta find the antidote to help cure our daddy of this. Yeah, you're right. Let's hurry up and find him then. Okay, then let's start looking. I think the antidote is somewhere in these crates. Okay, he's not here. He's not here either. Oh, JJ, I think I found something, some kind of potion. Maybe this is it? Here, check it out. It's like an antidote. Let's check it out. It can't get any worse. Okay, I think so too. Come on, throw it. I think it worked. Mikey, we helped our dad. Oh, what happened? Why do I have such a headache? I don't remember anything. Well, we've dealt with the father. So, now we're down to the mom. Wait, where is she? Oops, it's in the fridge. I forgot all about it. What? Kids, let me see what's wrong with her. Oh my god, honey, you're freezing. I can't believe it. Our mom is like mammoths in ice. Dad, go ahead and defrost mom. Uh, I'm getting a little tired. Mikey's too fast. Look at him, going full force. Oh, I still can't believe we live in such a huge house. My parents, after their fight in the previous video, have become very close. Now we have a nice house and two cool cars. JJ, catch up! Wow, Mikey, you've already put some distance between you and me. Oh, it's hard. I need more practice. Oh, that was a great bike ride. Mikey, that was something. You were going as fast as Flash. Huh, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Look at our house. Yeah, this mansion is huge. I'm so glad our parents could make up. I'm glad too. Mom said Dad got a promotion at work, and that's why we have a house like this. Wow. Let's go inside. Yeah. I'm starving. Yes, let's go, because our parents are probably waiting for us. Hey, Mikey, what do you want to do today? I thought I'd play a little ball and then get a little exercise size, but I don't have plans for that. Oh, I can't get used to these big, creaky doors. Yeah. Well, here goes. Well, why do you ask me that? Do you have a plan? I have a suggestion. I'm interested in you. Speak up. Why don't we uh, play hide and seek as a family? I love this idea. Yay, that'll be fun. I just have to suggest it to my parents. Mom, Dad, hi. Hi. Oh, hi, kids. Hi. I made lunch. Oh, I'm really a little hungry. Yeah, I'm really hungry. I hope you had a great ride outside our beautiful home. Yeah, this place is really cool. Oh, I'm so glad. Well, then let's go to the dining area. Yeah, I'm starving too. Uh, I'd like to make a suggestion. JJ, eat first, do business later. Daddy's right, JJ. Oh, all right. Don't be sad, JJ. Let's eat first and then we'll play. Yeah, let's go. Where are you kids? We're on our way. Huh, this is where I've been cooking for. Wow, that looks super comfy. Wow. You must have enjoyed cooking here. And this lunch is waiting for us. Wow, we're having a celebratory lunch tonight, Mikey. Wow, I'm drooling already. I agree. Let's eat. Take your time. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. So how was the bike ride? Yeah, we had a great ride. I'll eat while no one's looking, huh? JJ had a great idea, tell them. <laughs> yeah, we'd like to play hide-and-seek as a family. What do you say? I haven't played this in a long time. It sounds like fun. Yeah, I haven't played in a while. Let's play. Yay! Yay! Well, then our parents will be looking for us, huh? Yeah, it's our initiative. What? And we'll go hide-and-seek. Count to 50. Huh, you mice, all right. We started counting. Let's go, Mikey. JJ, I'm so excited. Let's go find a place to hide. Oh, they're not peeking, are they? What's up? Yeah, it's okay. Cool. So where are you gonna hide? I've got an idea. I'm gonna hide in the attic of the house. Wow, that's a cool idea. Yeah, I'll hurry. Okay, good luck. Good luck. I'm gonna hide in the basement. There was this great place. 23, 23 24, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Thirty-six, thirty-seven. The hide and seek has begun. Let them hide all they want. We'll find them. Ah, they can't escape us. It's not my fault who didn't hide. Kids, we're coming to find you. Okay, viewers. I found the place where I'll be hiding. This is where we got all the stuff we need for the house. There's all kinds of pipes, boxes, but the most important thing is this warehouse. I'm gonna hide right here. If I get into this clothes, my parents won't even find me. Kids, who's there? Oh, it's mom. <laughs> I'll find oh, you. Oh, no, mom. What's wrong with you? Where are you hiding, baby? No! Ah. Don't be afraid of me. I'm the kindest mommy. Come out and play with me for a while. I'm really scared. Uh, I guess there's no one here. Mommy's weird. I'll find you wherever you're hiding. Oh my god! What was that? Mom's weird. I gotta be careful and warn Mikey. I hope he's okay. But how do I get to him? The stairs are too dangerous for me, but this elevator is just what I need. Cool, I can get out of here. 
Oh, it's not as spacious as I thought it would be. Uh... There you are. I knew there was someone here. No, don't come near me. Oh, that was really close. I'm supposed to go straight to Mikey's attic. I hope he's there. Oh, that was Mom. Where does Dad go? We gotta be careful. Mikey, are you here? Yeah, I'm here. Be quiet. There was someone at the door. Huh, guys. Oh, my God. I'm here. Oh, no. Oh, it's Dad. All right. Did something happen to him, too? Whoever's hiding here, I'll find you. Where are the little ones? Oh, no. Maybe they're in this barrel. Dad's not as attentive as Mom, so I can't be seen. Hmm. I guess there's no one here. I'll find you, kids. You'll see. Phew, we're safe. Mikey. Oh, JJ. Oh, that's where you've been hiding. Yeah, what are you doing here? Did you notice that too? Yeah, my dad had a knife. That's creepy. I was really scared. I saw my mom. <gasps> oh, you were hiding in a really creepy place. It's not that big of a deal. Weren't you scared sitting here? It's fine. Do you hear anything? Well, I can't hear anybody else. Oh, I'm afraid dad's going to be waiting for us at the door. Mikey, dad's usually very confident, so he won't check the same place twice. Oh, so we can get out of the attic. Yeah, uh, we're good to go. Well, I don't see anybody down here. Oh, this is a little bit like a trap. Well, we'll see about that. Well, is there anyone out there? No, there's no one here. Oh, he's really just gone. Uh, yeah. Good thing there's no one here. What's the matter? But there's nowhere to hide. Oh, can't you hide behind that thing? Oh, no, Mikey. We'll have to find another room more suitable for hiding. Oh, no, it's too dangerous. Yeah, we're gonna have to go out. Oh, JJ, I don't like the idea, but I guess there's no other way. Okay, we'll just run to the next room. Oh, you ready? Uh, three, two, one, let's go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. JJ, wait for me too, I'm coming. Phew, I don't think anyone saw us. Wow. Oh, JJ, where are we? Oh, this is the creative zone. <gasps> it's like a recreation area. Cool. But you can do your hobbies here. This looks cool. Okay, Mikey. Well... We gotta do something to save our parents. How are we gonna do this? Come on, to beat Mom, we'll hang something heavy over here and drop it on her. Isn't it dangerous? Of course not. Huh, well, then I'm in. All right, let's do it. Let's get the anvil ready for Mom. Yeah. All right, help me, Mikey. Come on. Come on, get the rope over here. I'm trying. Yeah, 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 and this is where you do it. <laughs> I can hear you. I know where you are. Yay, we did it. There's this rope here that's directly connected to the mechanism. Yeah, and I'm almost done installing the rope. Do you want to see if it works or not? No, JJ, we're not going to test it. But Mikey... I think it's working just fine. We just have to wait for it. Hmm, how long do we have to wait? Hmm. Oh, no. Oh, oh. I know you're in oh that didn't take long. Stay ready, Mikey. I'm ready. Open the door. I won't hurt you. That sounds so scary. Don't test my patience. Hmm. All right. Ah! Here comes your mom. Oh, my God. Mom, this isn't funny anymore. <laughs> Stop acting like this. JJ, she's in the right place. Should I pull the lever? Pull the lever, Mikey. Oh, okay. I'll do it. Hmm. Hmm. Where are my babies? Oh, darling. Oh, those brats. What have they done to her? Watch out, because I'm coming for you. Yay, we did it, Mikey. Hmm. Do you think she's safe now? Yeah, I guess she's not dangerous anymore. Mom, we're gonna help you. Yeah, now we've gotta find a way to get Dad in here. Yeah, Daddy definitely heard that scream. That's right. All right. Oh no, Daddy's oh, here. Honey. You can't escape, boys. All right, let's go. Come quickly to my secret room. I've got it all set up. The secret room? Yes, it's right here. You can't escape. Come let's here. hurry. Oh, don't scare me. Uh, all right, we're gonna put on a little show for Daddy. Uh... Huh, you think that's gonna stop me? Get back here. I will destroy you all. And nothing's gonna stop you. Oh, what is it? Oh, I'll take a little nap. And I'll destroy you. Oh, what did you do, Mikey? I just put sleeping gas in the room. Wow, you really went all out, Mikey. Huh, what do you think of the cameras? Wow, you had cameras all over the house. Yeah. Oh, there's our parking lot and the kitchen and the living room. How about that? You know, Mikey, you do some creepy things. Huh, let's go save our parents. Yeah, we're going to have to figure out what happened to them. Yeah, I know an abandoned place where we can fix them. Let's go. We'll prepare the place first, hmm. and then we'll go after the parents. I hope it's nothing serious. Don't worry about it. I think we'll figure it out. Uh, okay. We found out what was causing our parents' behavior. Turns out they were run by little skibbity toilets. Yeah, they were sitting right on their back. Here, we found the lab, and it's been empty for a long time. And this is where we're going to fix our parents. Yeah, let's get started. Uh, 
How are we going to do that? JJ, look at the back. Wow, it's a chainsaw. Ah, uh, yeah, cool stuff. We're going to take care of you stupid toilets in no time. You're finished. Are you sure this is safe? Yeah, JJ, it's safe. Go. Okay, let's go. Get out of my mom's body, you stupid toilet. Release, Daddy, torturer. You're not welcome here. Why are you even doing this? Yeah, now you can't do evil. What are you going to do now? They're getting away. Huh, they're afraid of us. Come on, come on, run while you can. We'll see you again. Don't you dare harm us and our family again. Cowards, you didn't even give us a fight. I could have beaten them with my left hand. JJ, look. Hey, we found you. You're not hiding very well. Oh, Mom <laughs> and Daddy. They're totally themselves. Huh, that's right, Mikey. Cool. We saved our parents. Really? Kids, what happened? You started hunting us when your mind was taken over by the toilets. Yeah. But Sir JJ and the noble Mikey saved you from that nightmare. Yeah, we're your noble savior knights. Wow, we're looking at some real heroes here. Thank you, noble knights. You guys were great. Huh, I'm glad everyone's okay. Yeah, I'm very happy too. I hope those toilets don't bother us again. I don't think they'll bother us anymore. Hey, hey, everybody. Hey. Good to see you all back on our channel. Yay. Mikey, what are we doing today? JJ, I want to play with toys all day. It's the weekend. Wow, what kind of toys are we going to play with? I would love to draw and play with my dinosaur. And I'll take the cart Kids. and, uh... Oh, hmm. hmm. JJ, it looks like our daddy called us. Kids, come here. Oh, and that was already our mom. They're calling us. Let's check to see if anything serious has happened. Huh, what could possibly go wrong, JJ? Just considering even the bad options. Kids, what took you so long to come down? Darling. All right, it's not that important. We're going to the store now. Wow. Wow, that's so cool. Are you going to buy us some goodies? Hmm, well, I guess so. We'll get you something delicious. Delicious and healthy. Cool. Can we come with you? Huh, why? Hmm, well... We'll go away for a while, buy some groceries, and come back. We'll be fine. We'll be back home soon. Okay. Oh, hmm. Mom and Dad, come back to our house soon. We'll be here waiting for you. Bye-bye. Mikey, do you realize what this means? We're going to have fun and do whatever we want. Huh, what? Yay, I want to break some vases. No, Mikey, wait, why? Calm down, JJ. I'm not going to break anything. Really? Let's go upstairs and play. Uh, okay. So, JJ, remind me, what toy were we discussing? Hmm, I remember what you said about the dinosaur. Yay! And then I said I wanted to get a red card and play with it. Five minutes later. JJ, why is SpongeBob square and Patrick not? Uh, well, Mikey, Patrick is a starfish, so he's not square. Then what about SpongeBob? He's a sponge. I don't know, Mikey, but I like that he's square like us. Uh, but it's so weird, isn't it? Mikey, didn't you hear that? Oh, hmm. Have our parents arrived already? But it was like 10 minutes tops. How did they buy everything so fast? I don't know. All right, let's go see what's going on outside. Hurry up, hurry up. Holy turtles. JJ, uh, be quiet, please, and look out the window. Uh, oh my God. JJ, who are those people? Mikey, I don't know, and we weren't supposed to have guests. Then who are they? Oh my God, those aren't people. They're skibbity toilets. Find them all and destroy them. Yay, let's wreak havoc. Oh my God. God, Mikey, we gotta do something. Those toilets are hunting us. <gasps> JJ, they're on their way to the house. What do we do? Oh my God, we don't have much time. Where are our parents? Mikey, we need to hide somewhere and wait for help. What if he finds us first? Uh, very, very scary. All right, Mikey, I'll run to the police and you try to hide somewhere good. All right, come on. Hmm. You gotta sneak in the back door. Yeah, that's right. Before they go in the house, I have a chance to get outside. Try not to break anything. Uh, What do you say we split up and go looking? Hey, I'm in charge here. And what? But your idea is a JJ, go while they're distracted. Mikey, come with me. JJ, you know one of us has to stay. But Mikey... It's okay, come on, hurry up. Uh, I'll hide upstairs. You run for help. Oh my god. Wow, boss. There really isn't anyone in the house but those kids. Wait, what? They came specifically for me and Mikey. I have to run as fast as I can. Mikey's life is on the line. Oh, where am I supposed to go? Where can I hide? Think, Mikey, think fast. Oh, closet, that's right. I'll hide in our closet. I'm sure no one will find me here. Hee hee hee. So let's split up. We're not stupid enough to go together. Good plan, boss. I'll go check the kitchen. You go upstairs with your headphones on. What about me? The white toilet will be watching TV. Oh, I don't mind. If you all understand, let's go. Oh, I'm gonna find everybody. So where could these kids hide in such a big room? <laughs> God bless you. Oh, no. Oh, who's hiding in the closet? No, no, you didn't hear anything. Go away. <laughs> oh, how did you see me? What? Did you think I wouldn't see you behind that door? Yeah, it's a closet. You're so funny. Stop. Now come here. Woo. <laughs> <gasps> Pew, I don't know how long it took, but I managed to get here. It is now my responsibility to find a police officer to help me. This is his office. Oh, I want to eat donuts. Hello, officer. I'm in an emergency. My brother's in danger. Oh, my God. Our house has been invaded by a skibbity toilet. Mm -hmm. I am very scared Whoa. and don't know what to do. Wait. Help me, please. I beg you. Oh, my God. Uh, For starters, you need to stop talking so fast. Uh, okay. I'll help you. You'll be fine. Come on. Really? What do you mean, really? Wait, what? Are you kidding me? No. Then there's no more time to waste. Let's rush to your brother's aid. Yay. Cool. Two hours later. Aw, oh, I'm so glad we were able to get these fruits. They are very rare. Mikey and JJ are gonna love this. Kids, we're here! Uh, where are our boys? Maybe they're sitting in a room and can't hear us. Didn't they hear us come in? 
Honey? Don't you think it's quieter than usual? That scares me. Oh my god! What's going on? Where are our children? I don't know, but we have to find them. Maybe they're just playing hide and seek with us. What? Oh no, Mikey. What happened here? I don't know. Oh, thank God, he's breathing. We're very lucky. But what's happened that he's in such a state? Honey, for what it's worth, where did JJ go? Ah, uh, Mikey is unconscious and JJ is missing. What a horror. Boy, this is your house, isn't it? Yes, officer. My brother should be on the second floor. Okay, we'll go in carefully. Follow me. Okay. And don't make too much noise, kid. Uh, what? Well? What happened to the toilets? They were right here. Hmm. They were here. They must have gotten to the second floor by now. Hurry up, let's go. All right, let's go check out what's going on upstairs. Hurry up, hurry up. I hope Mikey is doing well. Uh... Mikey, what's What's wrong with you? Oh my god! Oh, JJ, you're back. What's wrong? What's wrong with Mikey? We don't know. He doesn't want to wake up. Oh no, you have to help him. Are we writing a report? My brother, I tried so hard to bring help. Why didn't you come with me? Hee <laughs> hee Oh! Oh, what's up? JJ was supposed to bring me juice while I sleep. Uh, JJ, don't you want to explain yourself? What happened to the toilets? I don't know what you're talking about. It's clear. Your kids just decided to play that way. <laughs> I have work to do. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Excuse me, goodbye. Uh, what do we do now? Well, we bought a lot of yummy stuff, so... So we can go make dinner and you guys can fun. Oh, I love that idea. Okay, we'll call you when the food is done. Oh, and I'm already so hungry. Bye-bye. Huh, we're not saying goodbye because we'll see you soon, Mikey. Oh, what are we gonna do, my brother? Mikey, please explain to me what happened here. Where are the skibbity toilets? I don't know what you mean. Mikey! The next day. This cartoon is so stupid, I never liked but it. But Mikey, earlier you said you liked this cartoon. Time passes and tastes change, brother. Uh, JJ? Huh, what? We'd like to ask you to go grocery shopping, okay? Uh, we need some groceries. Just a little bit. Uh, okay. Let's give you some money and you can go. Uh, what's going on? I'm going to the store. Yes, we are missing a few products. Okay, I'm not going. Hmm. Well, I guess five dollars is enough for you. Take the money, JJ. Please buy vegetables, fruits, and cereals, not burgers. Okay, I'll be back soon. You won't even know I'm back. JJ, don't be long. We're waiting for you. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. I run to the store and back. It's quick and lightning fast. I've noticed that Mikey is kind of weird, don't you think? Yeah, the only thing you can watch on our TV is Spongebob. Dad, Spongebob is awesome. I've been watching it my whole life. How nice it is sometimes to get away from the domestic routine and just relax in front of the TV with the whole family. Or better yet, stab that family with a knife. It's much more pleasant. Yeah, that's some joke you got there, Mikey. Yeah, he's a funny guy, but they're not always funny. Is this kind of post-ironic? I don't know. Maybe it was sarcasm. I don't know his jokes. Now they will realize this is no joke at all, but I'll definitely have fun when that knife puts a bunch of holes in their bodies. For them, it will be more of a tragedy than a comedy. It's time to get to my mischief. Huh, that's where the Patrick fell funny. Yeah, we should watch more cartoons together. Now you're all going to regret leaving your knives unattended. Two dumb parents. Mikey, what's wrong? What did we do to you? Why did you tie us up? We're your parents. Untie us. I want to kill you all at once, and to do that, I have to wait for the red TV. You two stay here until he gets here. It's so convenient when the victims come to you. If I could handle two adults, I won't even try with one child. It's so easy for me. Five minutes later. And here I am, finally came home from the store with the purchases my mom asked for. There's all sorts of vegetables, fruits, and cereals. No burgers. I don't know who's gonna eat that. Mom, Dad, meet me. I'm back from the store. Where are you all? Oh, JJ, hi. It's good to see you again. Your parents fell asleep while waiting for you from the store. Let's watch cartoons together. There's a new episode of SpongeBob just came out. A new series? Is it today? That's great. Let's go watch it. Sit down on the couch. Relax. It's just watching cartoons together. Nothing suspicious. I'm not worried. You're kind of weird today, Mikey. It doesn't matter. Just watch your cartoons. Cartoon. Okay, stop. So this is an old series. I saw it a long time ago. Have you seen a knife in your stomach lately? You're about to see it. Oh my god, Mikey, what are you doing? Put the knife away. This isn't funny anymore. No, JJ. The fun's just beginning. Don't run away from me. Let's play together. I don't want to play with you. You're crazy. Am I crazy? I'm your brother, Mikey. We always play like this with you. We've never played like this before. You're not my brother. You're wrong. Come here, now. I'm not coming to you. I gotta find something to fight you off. This is a pan I could use. Hey, what are you looking for? Come back to me. I think if I hit him on the head, he'll pass out. What are you gonna hit me over the head with? I'm your brother. Let's play. Put that pan down. Mikey, please calm down. I will not rest. I'm gonna kill everyone in this house. Nah, who are you here to kill? You're out of your mind with your cartoons. You should go to the loony bin with games like that. You're a schizophrenic. A what? Where did he go? He just disappeared? Who was it then? Then where's the real Mikey? I don't get it at all. Hey, help us, somebody. We're in the pantry, tied with ropes. Get us out of here. Oh my God, that sounds like my parents upstairs. What did that 
that phantom Mikey do to them? I gotta help them. There's my parents. Thank God they're alive and well. I'm tired of sitting here and I have to pee. How long can this go on? We've only been here 10 minutes. Be patient. Mom, Dad, are you okay? Did Mikey tie you up? Yeah, we're fine. Untie us, please. I'm going to release you now. Sit tight. Ouch, that hurt. Be gentle with me, JJ. Ouch. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know how to untie a rope properly. That Mikey who tied you up is a phantom. I killed him, but I don't know where the real Mikey is. Phantom Mikey, you say? Yes, that's him. We might know where the real Mikey is. It's in the den of Skibidi Toilets. We have to go there now. Skibidi Toilets? Okay, let's go. We're gonna get my brother back. JJ, let's go. We're gonna punch their faces in. We're gonna flush them back into the toilet. They're gonna regret taking my son. I'm coming for you. This is their lair? Can't they find another home? It's not the first time we've been here. Yeah, Skibidi Toilets aren't exactly smart. We'll take advantage of that. Yeah, we're gonna save Mikey. And how are we going to do that? Just punch them in the face. They don't have guns and won't be able to fight back. Yeah, it's gonna be easy. Okay, I hope we can do this. We can do it. Let's go. All together. Let's go. We'll take them out. And then I ordered him to kill the entire Speaker family? Ha 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 Who were you trying to kill in there? Filthy toilet. We wanted to kill you. Why did you survive? Your phantom is too stupid, and so are you. Now I'm going to kill you all. Don't tear yourself up, Daddy. I'm gonna take care of your son. Come on. Nah. Get your head kicked in. Well done, son. You're doing a good job. Finish the last one. Please don't. I didn't do anything. Ouch. That's it. They can't do anything in a real man's fight. Dad, you're so cool. You're the one who took down this den. Yeah, he's very strong and cool. Yes, thank you all. It's my pleasure. But we gotta go find Mikey. They're probably holding him in that basement. Okay, let's go. We need to check it out. I hope Mikey is doing well. I'm so worried about him. Oh, we found him. Mikey's in the cage. He's like a monkey in a zoo. You finally found me. Yes, we're glad you're safe and alive. Yes, the Skibidus left a phantom in your place. Let me out of here already. Okay, okay, one moment. That's it. You're free, Mikey. It's so wonderful to have our family back together. Yeah, that's awesome. Then let's get out of this basement. It's damp and it stinks. I don't want to stay here for long. Yeah, we should get out of here before the new Skibidi toilets come in. Yeah, I'm sick of sitting around here too. Yeah, Mikey, we've all had a tough time today. You, for instance, attacked me with a knife. I didn't do any of that. I was just behind bars, that's all. Kids, come on, hurry up. We don't want to stay here too long. Let's hurry. Yes, we have to go now, but first we have to say goodbye. Hi, guys, I'm JJ, and here with me on the playground is Mikey, my little brother. Hi, friends, I'm Mikey. By the way, don't forget to like this video. Yeah, Mikey, that's a great idea. By the way, JJ, what are we doing today? First of all, get off that rung and onto the ground. Okay, whatever you want, JJ. So what do you want to do today? I want to do something nasty. Some kind of nasty thing? Why would you do that? Because it's fun. You're just going to make someone else uncomfortable again. That's not good. You're so boring, Mikey. Oh, our parents are here. Hi, kids. While you were playing around, your mom and I decided to give you a little present. A present? Yes, a gift. We love you so much, we thought we'd treat you. Yeah, you've been on your best behavior for two days. Two days we've been out of trouble, Mikey. That's a record for our family. That's why we're gonna get you a radio-controlled car. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you so much. I hope you behave and stay out of trouble for another day. Of course, Dad. We'll be good boys. Here you go. Play and have fun. We love you both. There was no red car? Thank you, Dad and Mom. Yes, thank you so much. We'll be good kids. Oh, by the way, I completely forgot. Here's the remote control for this car. Until you've played it yourself, you wouldn't give it to the kids. That's great. We've never had a car like this before. Thanks again. You are the best parents ever. Okay, have fun. Thank you. You kids play. We're gonna play with daddy too. Bye-bye. Play nice with daddy there. All right, JJ. If I'm the one who gave me the remote, I'm the one who owns the machine. I play first. Okay, Mikey. I'm not sorry. Look how fast it goes. Yeah, JJ. The car is very fast. Just need to fully understand the controls. There's nothing to understand. You just press the forward and down buttons. Only a baby wouldn't understand. It's not as simple as that, JJ. Oh yeah, you're a baby too. Your car keeps crashing into walls. Give me some time and I'll learn. See, I already know how to drive it properly. Uh, sure. In an open field with no walls, you're not going to hit anything. And now you've hit the wall again. Just let me drive already. No, JJ, I haven't played yet. Just a little more and I'll let you drive. You'd sooner break the car than play with it and give it back to me. I'm fine driving the car. It's gonna be okay. Okay, what did you do, Mikey? It fell in the hole. I told you to give me the controls. You don't know how to drive a remote control car. What are we supposed to do now? It could have broken from that height. I don't know, JJ. Maybe you can reach in and get it. No, you drop the car. You get in that hole. No, I'm definitely not going in there. I'm scared. You go first. I don't care. It's your fault you go. I'm not going in there. Do whatever you want. Okay, then I'll go first, but you're coming with me. Okay, okay, I'm on my way to get you. Oh, there's a door with a bunch of forbidden signs. Warning, danger, stop, and so on. That sounds kind of scary. Maybe we shouldn't go in there. Forget the car. It's a gift from my parents. We have to find that car. So what if it's a gift? We're gonna get in trouble again. Why are you always afraid? It's your fault for dropping the car. You have to fix your mistake. Mistakes. As my big brother, you're supposed to help me. Go over there and get the car. You make me so nervous. You're always afraid of everything. Stop 
talking, JJ. Start looking for our car. Okay, okay. This room looks like some kind of vault of books and chemical potions. And there's the car that Mikey dropped. But it's not the car that interests me most. It's this potion. It's the most important thing here as I see it. I might be the smartest and strongest person in the world if I drink it. It's kind of tasty. I want more. Guys, I don't advise you to drink unknown liquids. It's okay for me. I'm strong and smart. Now we have to take this car and go to Mikey. And I'm already feeling energized. I want to do something bad. It's going to be fun. You want to do something nasty? I do. Okay, let's go. Hello again, Mikey. I found our car. We got to get out of here. Okay, where's the car itself? Show me that. Here it is. You don't believe me? Oh, cool. I believe you, JJ. You've been in that room for a while. I was worried. Now let's get out of here. Now I'm going to play with this car. Yes, of course. Only now it's nighttime and we have to go home. You can play tomorrow if you want. Of course I do. I've never played it. Let's hurry home to our parents. I hate them. Okay, let's go home. Why do you hate them? Uh, what? I didn't say anything. You imagined it. Five minutes later. Okay, we're a little late. Don't say anything about the car or our parents will get mad. We're not going to tell them anything. They're stupid and won't understand. You're kind of rude, but okay. Let's say we just played a long game and didn't realize it was dark. It's going to be okay. Yeah, stop talking and let's go home. Mom, Dad, hi. We're back from our walk. Hi, Mom and Dad. Hey, kids. How's your car? Did it break down? No, here's the car. Nice and clean. It's all right. That's good. It costs too much money. Try to treat it with care. All right, Dad. This car is awesome. Yeah, the car is great. I haven't played it at all, but it's really cool. And the fact that I haven't played with it is a shame. It's because of Mikey. That stupid TV that almost ruined her. It would be nice to kill him so I could play with the machine more. What? What are you talking about, JJ? He's just tired, so he says he doesn't have to. Okay, whatever. It's getting late. Go to bed, both of you. I hate sleeping. Let's go to sleep, JJ. You must obey us. Why don't you both go to bed and I'll keep playing? No, that's not gonna work. Okay, we're going to bed. Don't fight. You two stupid adults. It's okay. I'll get you soon enough. JJ, they heard you. Did he call us? stupid? What happened to him? I don't know. Maybe he just overheated in the sun. Okay, they're not mad at you. It's so great that they didn't find out about the car. We won't get punished, which means we had a good day. We've also been in that weird pit. I've been wanting to go there for a long time. Yeah, that's cool. Mikey, why don't we kill our parents? What? What are you even talking about? Let's kill them. They annoy me, and they keep ordering us around. I don't like it. No, that's not good. That's not the right thing to do. These are our parents. We love them, and they love us, too. You're as dumb as they are. You can't kill anyone. I could kill you. You're crazy. What happened to you? I'm not the crazy one. It's the whole world around me is crazy. You too, Mikey. Looks like I knocked him out. That's all right. We should kill him first, then the parents. You should have listened to me, Mikey. We could have taken over the world. This TV man is so heavy. He's been eating his burgers and getting fat, but it's okay. I'd love to fry him up. Maybe he'll come to his senses and take my side, or maybe he'll die. The main thing is that no one will see me and my plan will be perfect. It's very strange. Where's JJ dragging Mikey? We told them to go to bed and they went back outside. They're not supposed to be out at night at this hour. Look, they're just kids. They'll play. They'll settle down. It's no big deal. I was the same way back in the day, just trying to have fun. When I was a kid, it was impossible to keep track of me. No, darling, it's not okay anymore. JJ's been acting really weird today. He was saying things to himself. His head was all smoky. We should follow them. Okay, let's go. Did you even hear what JJ said about us? He called us stupid. He also wanted to kill Mikey. I thought he was joking. Let's go get them and take a look. Is he joking or does he really want to kill him? Okay, whatever you say. I gave them a car to keep them out of trouble. And now trouble is happening to them again. Three hours later. JJ, this isn't funny anymore. Please let me out. I'm your brother. I'll give you this car forever, but please don't kill me. You think it's the car? Come to my side. Help me kill my parents. I won't do it. I love them. Why do you want to do it? I'm the one asking the questions here. Either you come over to my side or you'll be swimming in this hot lava. I'm not going to try to kill my parents. They love us and they love you too. They gave us a car. I don't want to hurt them. So that's it? If you won't pick a side, then you're against me. No, JJ, don't do it. Too late, Mikey. You made the wrong choice. JJ, please don't. I love you. Pull the switch. I don't want to burn in the lava. In five minutes, the cage will sink into that hot lake and you'll be fried like a steak on a griddle. Fried, Mikey. That sounds delicious. Please, brother, don't kill me. I'm so young and handsome. I haven't accomplished anything in my short life. Yeah, your life's really gonna end quickly. Why have you become evil? We were playing so well. I hated playing games with you. You're so annoying. Always taking away my toys. Now you've become my own toy. And you know what? I really like playing with you now. How good I am. How smart I am. I'm getting hot already. Standing in this cage is torture. God, why do I have to do this? That's the kind of stupid death I'm gonna die today. Oh, I hear some rustling in the bushes. Is someone coming to rescue me? Who would even be out here at this hour? We thought we'd follow you around. Thought you were playing like this. But they didn't play. JJ's crazy and messing with Mikey like that. You and I have been talking a long time. Maybe we should hurry before Mikey gets fried in a cage. Yeah, that's a good idea. We need to get him out of the cage. 
let me out of here already. The soles of my shoes are starting to melt from this temperature. And yes, I'm very happy to see you. Okay, I just need to figure out how to get you out of here. Maybe we should pull these levers up. No, you just have to open the door to this cage. Oh, really? I could just open the door to this cage and walk out of here? Okay, thank you for saving me. You got here just in time. But, but what could have happened to JJ to make him so crazy? I'm sure it's all your computer games that have that effect on you. Yeah, I think it's the computer games. We should take away JJ's console and computer. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm glad you ended up here, but now we have to catch JJ before he comes up with another trick. He was gonna kill me, and then he was gonna kill you. He's very dangerous. So think about what to do about it. You're adults, you're supposed to be smart. We're not that smart. Your dad's still watching SpongeBob. So what? It doesn't make me stupid. We'll all go into the bushes and call the police. They'll decide what to do about JJ. What if he goes to jail? Maybe he'll go to jail, or maybe a mental institution. It doesn't matter. Five minutes later. Hey guys, this is gonna be a good video today, huh? I gotta go check on Mikey. He's probably cooked to medium rare, or maybe well done. I know how to roast meat. What? The cage is empty? How did Mikey get out of here? I thought I locked the cage. Or I didn't lock the cage. He just opened the door and walked out of here. How awful. I forgot to lock it. I also told everyone they were all dumb when I'm not smart myself. What a shame. Yeah, JJ. You're a complete idiot. Not locking the cage was really, really stupid. What? Parents, how did you get here? We just followed you. Yeah, your plan isn't that brilliant. Yeah, JJ, you screwed up. Oh, now that you've all come to me, it'll be easier for me. I'll kill you all at once. Let's see who's stupid. Calm down, kid. I'll put you all in the same grade and believe me, I'll have a lock on it for sure. Oh, what's that? The police? Did you call the police? Of course. So what? You didn't expect us to just call them and have them grab you? You're not such a genius. Oh no, I didn't think of that. What do I do? That's it. You're going to jail. No, I'm your son. Help me. I was kidding. All right. Who's the criminal? That red boy is a criminal. He wanted to kill us. All right, hold it right there. Hands up or I'll shoot you. Don't make any sudden movements. I'm going to kill you too. What did he say? He wants to kill me. You're going to jail, boy. You're a criminal. So, uh, is this your son? Yeah, but he wanted to kill us all. Kill? How about we kill you? Would that make you feel good? Oh my God. Looks like it's over. I'm not going to be able to take down this stupid family. Shut your mouth right now. How often did he threaten you? He does this a lot. That's not true. Shut up. You have the right to remain silent. So be silent. All words spoken by you will be applied to you in a court of law. Yeah, and then they put him in a mental institute. Hi friends, I'm JJ. We're hanging out with Mikey at the playground again. Hey, what's up? I'm Mikey. I decided to swing on the swing set, but I almost threw up. I now use the swing as a regular bench. Then why were you swinging so high? Come down, Mikey. I just wanted to see how high I could swing. Always gotta know what you're capable of, JJ. Who doesn't make mistakes doesn't drink champagne. Understand? Mikey, what champagne? You're just a kid. JJ, it's just a saying. You're missing the point. Learn the proverb, silly JJ. Oh, Mikey, look. Parents are out. Where are they going to go? I don't know. Let's ask them. Hey, Dad, Mom. Where are you going to go? Hi, kids. We're going to go to the store. Yeah, we're out of salt. I can't live without this seasoning. Is there anything you need to buy? Uh, sure. We'd like chips, Coke, and burgers. And nuggets, too. Okay, we'll buy it. Kids, don't take long walks. When it gets dark, go straight home. It's dangerous outside. We'll be back soon. Okay, we're off. Be good boys. Don't be naughty. Bye-bye. Don't miss me. Bye-bye, Mom. We'll be waiting for you. And don't run in the roadway. You could get hit by a car. Of course. We better not play in the driveway, Mikey. Oh, JJ, look. Some kind of truck. I've seen it before. Oh, my God. God, it's a skibbity toilet scientist. Okay, these two options are the right ones for my trials. <laughs> Who are you? Come here, sweetie. <laughs> hey, put my mom back. Get your claws off him. What are you doing? I'll take this one too. Too good a test subject for my experiments. <laughs> and you kids get out of here. What's going on? Where is he taking our parents? Hey, stop. Stop the car. Give us our parents. I hate you toilets. JJ, what are we going to do? That stupid toilet took our parents. I don't know. Usually it's us who get kidnapped, not our parents. I think we should call the police. They'll probably help us. The phone is at home. Let's go home quickly. Why does the skibbitus need to take our parents? He said it was for some kind of experiment. Oh my God. He's going to put our parents on pills. What's going to happen to them? I hope they get out of his captivity. They are strong. I hope they get out too. Come on, JJ, call the police. Yeah, but I forgot the police number. JJ, how could you forget the number? So remind me, is this the smartest one here? The police number is 911. Dial faster. Okay, 911. Hello, this is the police sheriff speaking. It's your emergency. Hello, Mr. Policeman. Our parents have been stolen. Some skibidi toilet scientist grabbed them and took them away in a truck. I will test on you my own serum that causes extremely high levels of aggression. I'm so smart! <laughs> These levers will send electrical impulses to their brains so I can reprogram them to think what I want. And what do I want? I'm sure it's something nasty. <laughs> I'll add a little bit of this, except I forgot what that lever does. 
Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Now they're gonna want to eat their children. What a genius I am. Now, bam, all of it. Now they're cannibals. Ah, uh, my head hurts. Me too. It hurts so bad. My, my greetings, our master. master. We await your orders. We'll do whatever you tell us to. Everything is going exactly as planned. Both of you, you'll go home pretending nothing happened. The next morning you have to eat. Eat your babies. <laughs> I should shut down the virus. I'm gonna need it. Three hours later. You know what I mean? Our parents were stolen. They were stolen this morning. Yeah. They were stolen over there by the bus stop. Right there? Where am I pointing? Yeah, right over there. It was done by a Skybitist scientist. Okay, did this toilet have any special markings? What did the truck look like? I want all the details of the crime. The Skybitist had a mechanical claw from a toilet bowl. He was half bald, gray-haired, glasses. So he drove off in a rusty truck. That's all we remember. All right, great. Your testimony will help the police investigation. What? Mom? Dad? You've been stolen! Hello, children. We came from the store. Hey, everybody. My husband and I arrived a little late. What? Why did you call me here, then? But our parents were really stolen. I don't understand. You were stolen by a Skibidi toilet. How did you get back? How is that even possible? No, kids. It's not funny at all. I've got a lot of things to do. I don't want to play with you. Please forgive our children. They were just playing. We'll talk to them. They won't do it again. Thank you for coming. Well, then keep a better eye on them. You better get going. Have a good day. Goodbye, Sheriff. Again, sorry for the inconvenience. See you later. Bye-bye. Mom, Dad, we saw how you were grabbed and taken away in a truck. No, 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 none of this is true. We were just in the store. It's all good. Now go to bed, both of you. You don't remember anything about the scientist Skibidi? It's late, baby. We'll tell you all about it tomorrow. Go to bed now. You two are weird. Are you sure you're okay? We're fine. Go to sleep, or you'll both be punished. Okay, 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 we're going to bed. Just don't swear, please. It's like our parents have been replaced. Yes, they are very weird and rude. Maybe that scientist did something to them. I don't like it. Yes, we should be wary of our parents. There was some more steam coming out of their heads. Something's not right. Okay, we'll decide what to do tomorrow. Now let's go to sleep. Okay, JJ, let's go to bed. We really have to be careful. I don't think this is going to go away tomorrow. Yeah, you're right. Good night, Mikey. Good night, JJ. And I have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow. I just hope for the best. Here are some of our favorite and delicious babies. I'm so hungry. I can't wait to take a bite out of them. I agree. I'd love to chew on them. Okay, here's the deal. You take the green one, I'll take the red one. We take them downstairs and cook them up. Honey, let's do this as quietly as possible. I don't want them kicking. Let's smoke them and fry them. It'll be delicious. I never liked that green boy. It's heavy. Let the meal begin. Well, 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 I thought your name was JJ. I don't really care. He asked too many questions, called the police. We can't leave him. I'd love to eat him for breakfast. I can't believe I ever loved that disgusting child, that whiny little baby. And I called him my son. How awful. <laughs> now they're not going anywhere. I've never eaten human meat. I don't know what it tastes like, but I think it's going to be delicious. Nothing tastes better than these babies. My made-up recipe calls for another two-hour wait for them to cook. Drizzle with a little apple cider vinegar, pepper, and smoke over low heat. Honey, you're like my chef. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Of course it's going to be delicious, especially if they keep spinning like that. What? Where am I? I'm frying on the steak? What's going on? Is Mikey asleep? We gotta get out of here. Do our parents want to eat us? That's why they're so weird. It's awful. Honey, I was wondering about the spices. Did you remember to salt them? Salt? Oh yes, salt. I really forgot to salt them. I'll run home and get it. Come with me. Help me look. I don't remember where the spices are. You're the one who does most of the cooking in the kitchen. Okay, darling. Okay, I think they're gone. We gotta get out of here. How I sweated as I lay over that fire. I can't believe what our parents wanted to do to us. Mikey, wake up. Get out of here. Hey, uh, what? What am I doing on the fire? Mikey, our parents wanted to eat us. They turned into Hannibals. We have to get out of here now. What? They were gonna eat me? What's this nonsense? That's what they wanted. They took us asleep and started roasting us. Before they hear us, we need to run now. I don't believe you, JJ. My parents couldn't have done it. But they did it. No, no, we have to go to them and ask them. Are you crazy? They'll grab you again and roast you. You can't get out a second time. My mom loves me. That's impossible. It's possible, baby. How dare you climb out of the fire? It's time to finish them off now so they don't run away. Knock us down. What are they talking about? Now we're going to cut you. Mikey, run. Those are not our parents. Come on, hurry up. Now I believe you. They want to kill us. What did I tell you? Stop right there, both of you. You two little pieces of meat. Mikey, run. Run for your life. Run. I'm running. Ow. I've fallen. Get up quickly. Run. Run to the police station. Stop right there. Stop or it's going to get worse. We're your parents. Don't run. They are not our parents, Mikey. Run as fast as you can. I'm running. Don't even think about stopping. I'm scared. 
finally surfed the internet. I'm so tired from today. Thefts, robberies, I'm sick of it. My mom told me to study to be a computer programmer. No, I'm stupid. I went to work as a cop. It's so boring here at night. There is nothing to do. Policeman, open up, please. We need help. Our parents are chasing us and want to eat us. Can you please help us? You know, the second time's not funny. This is not a joke. Our parents are chasing us with knives. Okay, kids, get out of here. I have a lot of work to do. No, 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 no. It's true. We're in danger. They're coming. Yes, please help us. We don't go out to die. I will not participate in your games. Go home. It's late. What are we going to do, Mikey? I don't know. Oh, there you are. Ha, ha, ha. Now we're going to cut you up. What? Who are you going to cut? Policemen! They chased us all the way to the station. Arrest them! Okay, don't worry, kids. Hands up, don't move, or I'll shoot! No tricks here! Ha! Gotcha? No, 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 Sheriff. We didn't mean any of this. We were just playing around. I don't believe you. Slowly walk with your back to the next room. You are charged with attempted murder. That's what you go to jail for. You two are murderers. Wow, that's so cool. You'll be in jail for the rest of your life. Try to kill your own children. What animals you are. Both in the cage! Fast! Hands up! Don't put them down! You have the right to remain silent. Everything you say will be used against you in court. You have the right to an attorney and one phone call. If you cannot pay for a lawyer, one will be provided for you by the state. Do you understand your rights? Yeah, yeah, we get it. Just calm down. Now you just sit tight and keep your head down! And you children, I apologize to you for not believing you the first and second time. I'm so sorry. My negligence could have gotten you killed. What's next for our parents? We should cure them. Yeah, you're right, kid. The first police station needs a doctor immediately. We got two crazy people here. Okay, we're on our way. Don't worry, kids. We'll cure your parents. Did you hear that? You'll be normal again. Eating people is bad. You'll realize it soon. Woo! I already said goodbye to my life while running here. I hope our parents get well. Two hours later. Don't worry, kids. I know that doctor. He's the best psychiatric specialist in this town. Oh, we're glad to hear that. Here's the doctor himself. We've been waiting for you. Here I am. Sorry for the wait. Where are your psychopaths? There they are in the cage. They wanted to slaughter their own children. Please cure them. Oh, it's a messed up case. But that's okay. They'll become normal people with my special healing drops. Wow, I think this is it. Nah, get it. Psychopathies, drink this. Become normal parents so that no more people get slaughtered and don't eat them. Okay, doctor. Wow, Mikey, they're healthy again. Our parents are back. Now they don't want to eat us. That's awesome. Thank you, doctor. That's my job. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thanks again. You've been a great help to us. Well, I think it's time to let your parents out. Yeah, I think they're safe for now. Of course. Mom doesn't have that evil smile now. Children, please forgive us for everything we've done. We don't remember things very well. You don't remember? You don't remember trying to stab your kids and eat them? You're going to jail for this. I'm sorry, but we don't remember anything. Oh, it doesn't matter anymore. I forgive you. Oh, that's so cool. We're not going to get hurt. Let's go home already. Yeah, JJ, let's go home. I'm tired already. We've been running all night. Of course we were tired. Go home and tell me how we tried to eat you. Yeah, you can tell us later. Again, we're sorry about all of this. It's no big deal. You're our parents. We love you. Let's go home. JJ, come get us. Yeah. yeah. Hey, everybody, I'm JJ. Mikey and I had a picnic on the playground. We took pizza and a few drinks with us. Hi there. I'm Mikey. I was the only one who could carry that basket all the way over here. Wow, Mikey, you're so strong. Yeah, JJ, because I eat meat. My island friends have given me a great meat diet. There's 10 pounds of meat in this pizza. 10 pounds in pizza? The pizza itself doesn't weigh that much. Is this a joke? No, it's not a joke. You just can't cook and you don't know anything about cooking. I eat a lot of meat. Would a normal person be able to climb up here? Uh, I don't know. I couldn't. I did because I'm superhuman. Super poopy man. Can you jump from that high? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. Too easy for Mikey. Okay, JJ, let's go home. Let's play Xbox. I hope you're stronger than me somewhere. Whoa, come on. That's a great idea. Let's play Minecraft, shall we? Yeah, it's been a while since we played this great game. Oh, you hear that? Someone's cursing. Let's go see. By the sounds of it, you can hear a fight. What's going on in there? You're horrible people. Freaks with speakers on their heads. You have to think about putting a speaker on your head. Hear me, you. You pathetic TV. Let's go out. I'll smash your face in. Yeah, you're nothing. You're going down with one punch. What's going on? Nah, get it. Nah, Beat him, honey. Stop this madness. Why are our parents are fighting? Come on, come on. You're gonna knock him out. Nah, get it. That looks awesome. You like it? Another punch and another. You're missing every punch. Did your mom teach you how to fight? You're gonna answer for my mother. And here's a right uppercut. No! You, that was easy. Go learn how to fight, kid. What did you do? That's my dad. Why? Dad? Daddy? God, it was so easy. I'm so cool. Yes, my love. You are so strong. I love you. Mikey, get out of here. We are no longer friends with this family of stupid monkeys. Watch your filthy language or you won't be able to get up a second
second time. A second time? I just tripped. You're weak. Tell that to your wife. Now get thee out of here. What idiots you all are. Go on, go on, get out of here. Get out. Mikey, let's go. You don't need your buddy, JJ. JJ, it looks like we're not going to hang out anymore. But it was our parents who had the fight, not us. I don't care. You and I aren't friends anymore, JJ. Goodbye forever. Yeah, Mikey. And your son is an orangutan, just as dumb as his daddy. You're all stupid. I'm going to punch your stupid wife, too. They're finally gone. What just happened? Mikey got mad at me. What did you start the fight about? Mikey's dad said I was fat. I'm not fat. I'm going to the gym. It was very upsetting to hear that. Then your dad stood up for me. Yes, it was very uncultured of them to say that. Yes, it was very frustrating. Let's go inside. We'll talk there. All he did was call you fat and you started punching each other in the face? Yeah, that's where it all started. Okay, JJ, it's getting late. Go to bed now. What? Is it late? Yeah, JJ, look at your watch. It's 9 p.m. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed. Yeah, go ahead. Go back to sleep. But why don't we talk first? What's there to talk about? Mikey's family are rude. They have no social skills. Yes, darling, you're absolutely right. Thank you, sweetie. And thanks for sticking up for me. I love you. Oh my God, there they go again. <laughs> Whew, that was a good night's sleep. Mikey's not talking to me. Do you guys fight a lot with your friends? Tell me in the comments. Now I need to talk to my parents. I want them to reconcile and be friends with Mikey's family again. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Dad. Oh, good morning, JJ. How'd you sleep? It's fine. Good morning, JJ. I have a headache from last night. Oh, let's get some rest today. Spend some time together, maybe? Okay. Mom, Dad, you have to make peace with Mikey's family. No, 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 no. Are you crazy? What are you thinking? No, 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 no. That's impossible. They hurt your mom and you want to put up with them. Whose side are you on? anyway. I'm on no one's side. I just want to be friends with Mikey again. No, you're not friends with Mikey either. We don't hang out with that family anymore. That's enough about them. Let's go to breakfast. Yeah, I made breakfast for all of us. Let's go eat. I'm not having breakfast. Mikey's my friend. I'm going to go make up with him. Okay, do whatever you want. I'm going to go and do it. Bye, everybody. Oh, I think I see Mikey. I should go over and talk to him. Our families were the ones fighting, not me and him. I hope he realizes it too, and we will be friends like we used to be. Although it's Mikey's mom who's fat, not mine. Mikey, Mikey, good morning. Can we play together? Did someone say play? Oh, it's you, JJ. We're not friends anymore. Go away. What are you talking about? We were friends. Not anymore. If you don't leave, I'll hit you. Get off my playground. Mikey, please listen to me. Let's make peace. You're not my enemy. Ah! What are you doing? Why did you hit me? Ow! Mikey, stop, please. Go home before I beat you up like my dad. But it was my father who won the fight. Ouch! I warned you. Don't come near me again, JJ. I'm having fun playing here without you. I'm not gonna listen to a nerd like JJ. This is so cool. I don't understand what happened. Maybe it's his parents' influence on him. What should I do? I want to be friends with him again. Who do I play with now? It's annoying. Three days later... I'm so sad without Mikey. We had such a good time together. Where's Mikey now? Maybe he's sitting at home. No one in their right mind would go out in this weather. I remember that day as if it happened now. He also left his pizza here. I have to go to his house, talk to his family calmly, try to make peace. And you guys, put likes on the video, subscribe to the channel, and then you will never fight with your friends. My parents are adamantly opposed to talking to their family. They're so stubborn. I hope it works out for me. I'm gonna have to take the bus to Mikey's house. I'll measure them. Wow, Mikey has such a huge and cool house. He's never invited me over to visit. I hope they didn't go anywhere. Otherwise, I didn't come here for nothing. Okay, I gotta make a call. Mikey, Mikey, come out. I have to ring the doorbell. Maybe they're on the second floor and didn't hear me knock. What's taking them so long? Maybe they really left home. Maybe I shouldn't have come here. Or maybe I should just go inside. Maybe they're in trouble and I should help them. Of course it's not nice to break into someone's house without asking, but I didn't get an opening. Not my fault. Mikey? Mikey, where are you? Please come out for a minute. Here I am. You shouldn't have come here, JJ. Now we're gonna get back at that little guy. Yeah, we will. So why'd you come here, JJ? Uh, I've come to peace. We feel very bad about what happened the other day and we apologize. Why are you so close to me? Now we're gonna beat you up. Wait, what? No, 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 don't. I came to apologize. It's too late to apologize, little man. It's too late. Ah, oh, my head. It's splitting in half. Where am I? What happened? A little joke on you, JJ, but that's not all. Yeah, JJ, there's more. You're stuck here forever. This is for what your family has done. Is this some kind of joke? Please let me out. Yeah, we're just gonna let you go like that. Now, now, huh? Please let me out. My parents will be looking for me. Mikey, we're best friends. How could you do this? Let you out? We'll kill you. Ha! What are you going to do? This is bad. I thought we were joking. Why don't we let him out? No, of course not. We're not letting him go anywhere. We're not kidding. We'll kill him and bury him. What? Don't, please. JJ's my friend. Don't kill him. I thought we were gonna have a little joke and let him go. Why? This is bad. Please, Mom, Dad, don't do this. 
Go to bed, Mikey. We'll take care of this without you. If you're really going to do this, you're going to regret it a lot. My parents will find me. You're as dumb as your parents? How do they even put up with you? Or they just don't like you. Nobody's gonna help you, JJ. My parents will help me. You're going to jail. You hear me? You are a family of maniacs. What am I supposed to do now? I shouldn't have come here. I shouldn't have listened to my parents. I'm so stupid. We'll lure JJ's parents out and then we'll take them down. We will never forgive their rudeness and ignorance. With this note, they will come to our lair on their own. These idiots are too dumb to fall for that trick. My plan is genius. And now, run! Huh, I'm so smart? I'm sneaky? I'm the best. Who's making a phone call? Probably some neighborhood kids playing pranks again. What? A note? Oh my god, JJ's been kidnapped. What did you say? JJ was kidnapped? That's terrible. What does it say? It says they're holding our son hostage. We have to go to him or he'll die. What? Mikey's parents did it. We have to save our JJ. I won't forgive them for this. Okay, honey, get ready. We're going to save him. Three hours later. And here's their house. JJ's being held here. They're gonna be in trouble soon. Honey, like the good old days? You and me on dangerous military missions? Oh yeah, honey. Moment of truth, it's either us or them. Oh yeah, we're gonna tear their house down to the ground. No stone will be left unturned. I love it when you're angry, honey. Let's get started. No one would dare raise insults or raise a hand against my family. Say hello to my little friend. What's going on? Stop! How can you do this? This has gone too far. We used to be close friends. This all started over one insult. And we're ready to shoot each other? This is wrong. Living in friendship and harmony and loving each other is what is truly beautiful. Make love, not war. Mom, Dad, do you remember the good times you used to have together? You used to joke around, play games, go to barbecues together. That was awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. Please forgive us. Yes, we were wrong. We went too far. Please forgive us. Yeah, you're right, buddy. We've all gone too far. We're sorry, too, for shooting up your house. I enjoyed shooting. Shh, honey. We apologize for all of our transgressions, too. We are very sorry for the fight we had back then. Yes, please forgive us. We've all overreacted and done bad things. I hope we don't do it again. Yes, and now we need to see our son. He needs to be let out of his cage. Yeah, kidnapping our son is just too much. I'm sorry? Five minutes later. Oh, I can hear someone's footsteps. Have they come to take me down? God, I'm really scared. And so my life came to an end. Bye, everybody. And here they are, my captors. JJ, we're sorry. We're gonna set you free. Mikey, Dady, Momi, it's so good to see you all. Forgive us, JJ. Yes, please forgive us. You're the one who wanted to make peace with us all first, but we didn't listen to you. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. I take no offense to you. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Forgive us, JJ. We're not fighting with your parents anymore. Yeah, we're friends again. Forgive us, too, for not listening to you. Yeah, JJ, I'm sorry. Phew, so glad it ended this way. No one will file a police report. We're still thinking about it. How nice to see you all together again. Now we can play again. This is so cool. Can you believe your parents shot up our house? What, really? Can I have one, too? No. No. Okay, whatever. Okay. Yay, hi everybody. I'm in a great mood today, aren't you? Hey! Mikey and I are having a great time outside today. Yes, I especially love that we're walking on this playground today. Yeah, it's pretty nice in here. Oh, JJ, we haven't seen any skibbity toilets in so long, by the way. Yes, it's true. Come on, we gotta go. But at the same time, we have many different situations arising. Hmm. Well, I'm talking about going on vacation. Let's go to the side of the house and talk about it. Mikey, it sounds to me like we've been living more peacefully. Well... Although there are fewer skibbity toilets, it's true. That sounds suspicious to me. Why is that's suspicious. Explain it to me. Well, that's because the sky is blue, okay? Uh, no, not okay. I don't get it. Oh, huh? I'll tell our parents you're not telling me something. Calm down, JJ. I'm not hiding anything. Uh, what is that? Uh... JJ, look over there. There's some kind of weird gun over there. Oh, my God. Hmm. Uh, Mikey, it's kind of just garbage. JJ, I can see that this gun is unusual. Really? Yeah, I've never even seen one of those in a book. Oh, and this thing is a little heavy. Wow. Huh, Mikey, why don't we try shooting this gun? Well, it can be dangerous, but also a lot of fun at the same time. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Let's stand back and shoot. I even know the right place. Oh, uh, what? There's an abandoned building. Shoot it. Wow, we're lucky no one lives here. Yeah, lucky us. All right, Mikey, you ready? Oh, yeah. Attack! <gasps> oh, Mikey, I don't get it. Mm. What kind of gun is that? Uh, well, by the looks of it, it's a portal gun. Is it weird that I want to go in there? Yeah, JJ, it's weird. But Mikey... But I want to do the same thing you do. Oh! So let's do it. Uh... Go, JJ. Mikey, wait. Oh, what if it's dangerous? I didn't think of that at all. Ah, where am I? Oh, uh, where's Mikey? Look out, Mikey's coming. Oh, why'd you come out after me? Wow, JJ. It's a pretty weird place. Hmm. I'm not comfortable here. Okay, JJ, let's explore around here a bit. Yeah, I'd hate to miss this opportunity. And then we'll go straight home. Hmm, <clears throat> okay. Run, huh, run. You guys are in the wrong place. Because this place is going to be nothing but misery. I'll 
take care of that. The longer you stay here, huh? The worse it gets for you. I will take over your house and destroy everything you all hold dear. Wohaha. <laughs> okay, Mikey. I'm getting a little tired of looking around already. Let me go dig up some ore. Uh, JJ, where did you even get the idea that there might be ores here? I'm just sure of it. Oh, hmm. Huh. If you're scared, you'd better wait for me here. Hmm. Don't worry, I'll be right back. Okay, JJ. I'll dig up a mountain of ore. JJ, take care of yourself and be sure to get back out there soon. Sure, Mikey. Before you know it, I'll be back here. Now it's time to explore this gravel deserted place. These mountains are huge. Oh, hmm. Huh. This is about to be the most boring wait time of my life. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Stop. What? Don't worry. I'll just get rid of your brother and your whole family. Wait, who are you? You don't need to know that. But I'll tell you anyway. Mm. I'm you. What? Bye-bye. I almost feel sorry for you. Because thanks to you, I can get out into your world and do evil. Wohaha. <laughs> and no one will even realize the change because I could be you. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I found it. I was able to find some unusual ore. I can already imagine Mikey's surprised face when he sees these jewels I dug up here. Mikey, listen, I want to show you, uh, Mikey? Oh, you're back, my brother JJ. Uh... I've been waiting for you for so long. I'm glad you made it back. Mikey, you're acting weird. Did you find something in those mountains of gravel? Uh... Because I was bored to death when you weren't here. Yes, it's very difficult to walk around here. How boring it was. You must be tired. If you're done exploring this place, let's hurry back home. Okay, look what I found, by the way. This is really cool. Cool stuff, JJ. Uh, but I'm really tired. Let's go home. Uh, okay. I don't know what's wrong with Mikey, but okay. Oh, this place looks quite familiar. Mikey, do you recognize this place? Of course I recognize this place. It's our home. Oh, uh, what? This huge castle, our home. Yay! Wow, marvelous. Yeah, I can't believe it myself. Wow, Mikey. It's pretty dark already. I hope our parents aren't too worried about it. Oh, us. well, it still feels like it's not my house at all. Is that weird? Mm, interesting, interesting. You don't get that feeling? No, brother. I don't smell anything. I'll kill you. Wait, what? Well, Are you sure you're feeling okay? What's up? Mikey, I just heard you say something awful. No, I didn't say anything like that. You must have imagined it. Hmm. Let's not wait for our parents to argue and go inside. Uh, okay. But Mikey, I'm begging you, please don't play me like that again. Sure, bro. Oh my god, I don't remember anything here. Uh, mom and dad, hi. He had a huge head of, uh, oh, my little boys came home from a walk. Yeah. We walked here and there. It was a bit boring. Uh, wow, you must be tired. Wow, look at the time. Oh. It's so late. It's past your bedtime. I didn't realize it was getting dark. Oh, hmm. Huh. It's okay. You're here. It's okay. Yes, so go to bed quietly. Good night. All right, Mikey. Let's go to bed, huh? Yes, I'm very tired. Really, let's go. We, we wish, wish you a good night. night. Your room is upstairs. Oh, my God. Mikey, did our parents seem weird to you? I mean, we see them so loving and caring for us every day. That's true, but Mikey... Mikey. It's okay, bro. I, for one, have absolutely no recollection of our rooms being on the second floor of such a mansion. JJ, it's always been this way, and if you don't stop pissing me off, your death will come sooner. What? Uh, I mean, I'll hug you in your sleep. What did you say? What? What's wrong? Don't try to distract me, Mikey. Why are you doing this? I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Huh, what? But in case you forgot, this is my room, <clears throat> and your room is across the hall, so I'll see you tomorrow. And, uh, sleep well, brother. See you tomorrow. Hmm, that was really weird. So weird that I don't understand why he calls me brother and not by my first name. Hmm, I don't understand anything. What is this house? Let it all just be a dream and I'll wake up now. Hee hee hee, good night to those who are asleep, for the good will not last long. There's no one on the right, no one on the left. Who will be my victim from the beginning? Hee hee hee. This series is so interesting. We've been watching this for three hours. So what? Are you sure this is interesting? Yes, of course. I want to watch something else on TV already. Hee hee hee. A painful and horrible death awaits you. You haven't noticed me yet, you fools. But don't worry, your death is incredibly close. <laughs> so what are we going to watch? Let's watch SpongeBob. Not this. I'm a fan. Oh, this cartoon is awful, honey. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh no, it's not a dream, it's real! Which is bad because then that evil part of Mikey is real too. Oh no, his room door is open, did he really go for a walk? I don't like this at all! He's really not in his room! I heard someone screaming, it must have been my mom! I have to check what's going on! I'm still not a- uh, oh my god, what was that? They're having some kind of electrical problem! This house is really huge! Uh, there's no one here and there's no one in the kitchen! Hmm, who was yelling then? Oh, mom and dad are fine! Uh, or are they not? Your knuckleheads need to bring me that boy. 
I want to deal with him personally. Hey, you. Oh, look who I see, huh? Kid? Come to us. We won't hurt you. What have you done to my family? This is your family, little brother. We love you. We will destroy you. No, you're not my real family. What? This is some kind of horror. Oh, my God. No. Ah. I must get out of this house soon and call for help. Hurry up. Hurry up. Ah. How did you all get here? You can't run away from us here. Oh, no. If it's all a joke, it's not funny. <laughs> oh, my God. This is no joke. They've really all gone crazy. I gotta get out of here. Ah! Run, 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 brother. Because we like to catch up. Let's play again, shall we? Stop! You'll never get out of this house. Because everything here is subject to my will. Wait, let's try to make a deal. Hee hee hee. Bye! Holy turtles! JJ! Uh, where am I? Oh, right. I got knocked out by that evil copy of me. This must be his lair. I hope JJ realized that this phony is not me. And I'll be found soon. Our beautiful girl is awake. Uh... Wake up already. I'm tired of waiting. Oh, my God. Now it's time to do something terrible. Do it. He's not going to be one of us. He can't even see where he's going. Wait, don't come near me. <laughs> and where am I going? Uh, I'm going to the cliff. Daddy. You're annoying me. Oh, no. I decided to get rid of you rather than make you my puppet. Be thankful. Mikey, I don't want to die. You're not going to die. You're going to burn. Mikey, we're brothers. How can you do this to your brother? Very simple. I'm not your brother. Finish him. Oh, my God. Is this really the end of me? I don't want to die with dignity. Please have mercy. Bye-bye. No. Ah, God help me. Oh, what is it? Uh, am I alive? Uh, if this is death, it's a very strange one. Hmm, it's a lab. JJ! Wait, what? Mikey, is that really you? JJ, I've been locked in here by some evil doppelganger. Hmm. I don't know if you'll believe me or not, but I've been sitting here a long time. Mikey, how do I open this, uh, prison? Well, I haven't actually looked for a way out of here yet. You need to find it. But you could try pressing this button on the floor to open the door. Oh, there really was a button here all along. Okay, Mikey, come out. JJ, why did you believe me? Because you call me by my name, and that weirdo didn't call me that. Huh, so it turns out we were able to outplay him. Yeah. JJ, look. Look. Huh, what? We're in his personal base, in his lab. Uh. So let's have some fun and break his equipment here. Mikey, no, wait, there's something you don't know. Stop. Our parents are under his control. Oh, hmm. You could have just told me about it instead of hitting me. Okay, I'm sorry. You just started pushing buttons right away, so I flared up. Okay, it happens, JJ. Let's go see what's in here. Let's go. I didn't get a chance to push the brightly colored buttons. Oh, look. He has spacesuits at his disposal. That's cool, but look what's behind you. <clears throat> You'd be surprised. Oh, my God. I've never seen a gun like that. What about you, Mikey? Me too. Let's arm ourselves just in case. Yes, I agree. It's going to be a brutal battle. He can't beat us. Uh, We've got some pretty cool weapons now. What if he has guns like that too? You're ruining the brutality of the whole moment, JJ. Mikey, I'm just afraid of losing. We just gotta win, JJ. Oh no. Stop whining. It's gonna be a real battle. Okay, we should be able to handle it because we have each other. Exactly. Let's be careful and enter the next room. Uh, okay. Hmm. Wow, really? Uh, yeah, this is the way out, Mikey. Great, we can get out of here. Let's get going soon. We'll have to figure out how to help our parents. All right, let's go. We'll come up with some plan on the way. Yeah, I wonder where they are now. Ah! JJ, what's wrong? What happened, little brother? Look! <gasps> Did I really scare that fake boy? Am I that scary? You are the scariest, sir. Hurry up and destroy these fakes. I was just about to do that. Well, ha, ha Mikey, is it or is it not time for us to brutally fight? You won't do anything to me. JJ, it's time. Attack! Oh, that was so loud. JJ, well done. That was a good shot. Cool! Mom, Dad, are you okay? Where are we? Mommy and Daddy. I don't know what it is, but we're fine. We were fighting an evil version of Mikey. Yes, it was a brutal battle. Uh, yeah. Uh, cool. Where are we? You're big young men, boys. Daddy, we're at Evil Mikey's base. It's in another dimension. This is just kind of crazy. Yeah, I think so, too. JJ just went bang with a cannon and Evil Mikey was gone. Yeah, I had a little fight with him at some mansion. Hi, everybody. My name is JJ. How are you, huh? Hmm, write in the comments. I'd love to read. Hey. Hey, Mikey. JJ, I found such a funny cartoon here. Really? Yes, look, it's that cartoon on TV right now. Uh, Mikey, but it's SpongeBob. Yeah, it's a funny cartoon. Only our grandparents watched that. Oh, hmm. It's unthinkable. JJ, we gotta go. Oops, I forgot what time it is. Uh, I think we should hurry to school. Did you have time to get everything you needed in your backpack? Yes, of course I put everything in my backpack, even the gun. Yay, stop. What? It was a joke, Mikey. I would never do that. Yeah, you're definitely not allowed to make jokes. Huh, what? Let's go downstairs. Mom's probably waiting for us. Mikey, why did you say that about my joke? That was a terrible joke, JJ. Oh. Mom, Dad, good morning. Yeah. Oh, good morning, my darlings. What's up? We're doing just fine. It's time for school. Oh, honey, tell them. Uh. Well, I'm not taking you both to school in my car today. <gasps> you're both so big. Yes, that's right. So it's time for you both to take the bus to school on your own. Oh, my God. Wow. Honey, give them food. It's for lunch. Oh. Even though it's a small apple, it's very 
very nutritious. Really? Uh, well, no, this apple is delicious. Oh, okay. Well, you can go now. Let's go. Cool. Thank you so much for the apples. Have a good day at school, both of you. Mikey, let's go. Goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye. We will miss you very much and promise to come home soon. Well... Let's not waste another minute, Mikey. Yeah, good idea, JJ. Hmm. The bus should be here soon enough. Nice. JJ, here's a real funny joke for you. Listen. Okay. Why is the yellow bus so happy? Hmm, probably because he was cheered up. No, hmm. because it is always the center of attention. Uh... <laughs> So you get the joke, right? No, I didn't get the point of your joke at all. Well, okay, there's a bus coming this way. Oh, well, it's finally on his way here because I thought we'd never leave for school. Well, I'd be glad not to go there. And our teacher scares me, so let's hurry up. Are you afraid of our teacher, seriously? You've seen how angry she can be. It's scary. Hello? Oh, hello, Driver Bob. Hello, how are you? Oh, kid, I'm doing great. Hmm. That sounded so sad. I'm actually living a good life. Don't worry, guys. Oh! Okay, okay. Breaking news. Huh, what? A recent jailbreak offender, Skibbity Toilet, <gasps> has been found on Cube Island. Wow, I've never heard of this place. I hadn't heard of this place either. Uh... Let's hear what else the news has to say. Okay. His whereabouts on the island are unknown at this time. Oh my god! Please do not travel to this island until the police have dealt with the criminal. Okay, we're definitely not going there since we don't even know such an island, huh? We don't care. It's time for school. <laughs> Well, here we are, school. Yay! Have a good day, kids. Thank you. Thank you and goodbye. JJ, the bell for class already rang. Oh no, we have to hurry. Mm. Otherwise, the teacher will get mad. You remember how angry she was last time? How can I forget that nightmare? I'll never forget that evil look. Wow, JJ. Oh, she gives me goosebumps. As far as I'm concerned, she's quite a nice teacher, just a bit strict. Oh no, I don't believe you because I remember everything that happened. Yeah, that's right. Oh, Mikey, I forgot we're in a different school now. And I'm still waiting for you to figure it out. Uh, we have a different teacher now, and you don't have to be a afraid of her. Cool. So everything okay? Yeah. Hurry up. Hurry up. Yay. And just like that, you can learn how to find the area of all the painted squares. Mikey, is this a math class? I hope not. Hmm. So now the problem is more difficult. How do we find the area of a triangle if we know only the perimeters of the squares? Oh my god. I don't get it at all. Mikey, how do we solve this task? JJ, do you think I'm a math wizard? No, but Mikey. Do you have any ideas on how to solve this task? Uh. Hello. And sorry for the inconvenience. Woof, woof. Hello, everyone. Who are these guys? Woof, woof. Oh. Oh, hmm. Uh, okay. Hello? Hello, it's good to see you here. So, my name is Ryder, and I'm putting together a group for a trip to Cube Island. <gasps> wow, that sounds great. Who wants to go? Oh, Mikey, let's go. It's an opportunity. Yeah, let's go. Hey, we'd love to join your trip. Woof, look, someone wants to come with us. Hey. That's just great. Yay. What are both your names? His name is Mikey, and my name is JJ. When are we going on the trip? We're going right now. Let's go. Wow. Cool. Let's go, JJ. Hurry up, hurry up. So, if no one else wants to come with us, we're out. Oh. Have a good day, everyone. Guys, you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Yeah. That's great, because it's a long way to go. Nice. Well, let's hit the road, shall we? Okay, let's go. Mikey, I'm so excited. Wow. Woof, woof. Oh, hmm. Let's hurry up, guys. Uh, okay. JJ, hmm. what would you like to see on the island? Well, I wish there were palm trees and coconuts and little crabs. Wow, JJ. I mean, everybody loves crab, right? Oh, uh, well, this is our car, and it'll take us all the way to the island in comfort and breeze. Really? We needed a bigger car, so this is the perfect option. Well, let's go. Oh. Woof, woof, and there's a special place for all of us. Ooh. Come on, I'll show you. Uh. We'll ride in a big and cozy trunk. Woof, woof, woof. Follow us, guys. Uh. JJ, let's go. We can't pass up the opportunity to ride in the trunk. Oh. Let's go, JJ. Viewers, would you like to ride in the trunk? I'll be very interested to read your responses in the comments. Oh my god. Wow. It's much better here in the trunk than I thought it would be. Huh, sure, because you can even live in this car. Wow, this is so convenient. I want to live here. Three hours later. Woof, woof, that's how it was. Yay! Huh, what? We finally made it to this place. Cool! That's just great news because my feet are already very stiff. Oh! Well, this is the clearing where we'll be staying. Woof, woof! As you can see, mm. it already has everything we could possibly need on the island. My puppies built all this, can you believe it? Wow! But there's only the most important thing missing here, isn't there? Hmm. Oh yeah, the only thing missing here is our tents. I'm going to set up a tent for me and my pups. Wow, I want to see that. Oh, hmm. That must be hard to do. No, it's not that hard. Oh! You did it really fast. I want to pitch tents that fast, too. And for your tents, there are these two places. Mikey, we're going to pitch tents. Here's one tent spot, Ooh. and here's another one just like wow, it. Wow, we'll have our own tents. You can pitch your own tents, right? Well... Yes, of course we'll do it. Great. Yeah. Hee hee, woof, I'm a tent. Uh, okay. All right, let's make a better tent than riders. Yeah, let's do it. We'll have the coolest and most interesting tents than anyone else. Woof, woof, hmm. We'll start with the basics and then do the rest. Yeah, come on. Hmm, well... Now that everyone is busy doing their own thing, I have an opportunity to repay one mister for my debt. I brought them here like you wanted. Give me the rest of the puppies back. 
I've fulfilled my part of the bargain. Oh, no, 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 Mr. Ryder. I still need you. But why do you need me? You gotta get those kids into the cave. No, I don't want to do that. That's an order. Two hours later. It was very difficult, but we made it through. Look at our simply beautiful tents. Perfect. Oh, such fresh air. Yes, nature and uh, dogs, that's the best thing we have right now. Hmm. Woof, woof. Uh, how do you like our tents? That's just great. What do you think of my tent? Hmm, good job, JJ. I tried my best. Yay. Oh, there's Ryder. I haven't seen him in a while. So I see you were able to set up your tents. Yes, we did it. But you know what? Oh, hmm. Tents are nothing but a cave. That's awesome. Huh, what? Uh, are you sure about this? Of course, it's very safe But we there. worked so hard to pitch our tents. And that's what you were trying to work on, huh? Ryder. That's total nonsense. What? Why do you say that? I tried. Yeah. Let's not argue, and let's all go to the cave together. Oh, no. Wouldn't you agree? No, I don't want to go to the cave. Come on, it's fun. Uh, Mikey, let's go. See if it's really interesting and cool. Hmm, I doubt very much that a cold and dark cave is interesting or cool. Uh, it's true. You're like little children. Are you scared? Uh, hmm. yeah, well, I'm a kid and I'm scared. Caves are scary. There's nothing to be afraid of because I've been here more than once. Wow, so that's why you walked in here so calmly. There, go take a look around. It's cool. Uh, okay. JJ, look, there's some kind of secret door. Oh, it would be great if we could spread the word about this find. Yes, everyone needs to know about this. Yeah. <gasps> uh, you will never be able to tell anyone where you are now or where you are going next. Mikey, what's going on? You're both trapped in my trap. What? No. Sweet dreams, JJ. Wait. Ah! Oh, why did you have to hit my head? Now it hurts. Uh, where am I? It's like that cave, hmm? Oh, uh, Mikey, stop lying down. Get up. We need to get out of here as fast as we can and call for help. Wake up! Oh, JJ, why are you yelling? What's wrong? We're locked behind bars in an obscure skillet cave. That's why I'm yelling. Holy turtles! JJ, we gotta get out of here now! That's what I'm telling you! But this door is locked! We have to figure something out. We always get out of bad situations. I have absolutely no idea how we're gonna get out of here. I don't know how either, but we're going to do it! Hmm. So, how do you like my renovation? It's cozy, huh? Oh my god! Ryder, what for? It's none of your business! Oh! But then why did you lock us in here? Don't even try to get out of here! I'm not trying to! All it attempts to escape will be thwarted, and your lives are now in our hands. Uh, you're not doing this alone. Really? I'll call my boss and be right back. Stupid kids, dogs are better. Oh my god. Actually, we're not stupid. Exactly. Ah, uh, Mikey, how do we get out of here? Let's take a good look around. Let's do it. Uh, JJ, there's a phone. Huh, what? Look, there it is. Oh my god, who's stupid now, huh? Hmm, but the burning question remains, how do we get out of prison? Is there no way we can get out of here? No, Mikey, no. We don't even have a hope. What do we do? No, Mikey, hope always stays with us. Let's try to find something else. No, I think this is the end. Mikey. Well, Ryder's here. Um, woof, woof, hey. Mikey, it's not Ryder, look. I'm security guard, so be quiet. Uh, okay. Oh, no. Now that's something interesting. Mikey, he's got a key around his neck, and I think it's for our door. Oh, I got an idea, JJ. Let's give him that bone. It's time to go. Wait, doggy, wait. Did you call me? We have such a great offer for you. Yay! Why don't we give you lots of delicious, amazing bones, and you give us the useless key, huh? Oh, what a wonderful offer. Yeah! I like bones, so I'll trade with you. The right decision, because a pair of bones is better than a useless single key. Here's your key. Cool! And thanks for the bones, my friend, and I will finally have a hearty meal. You're welcome, and enjoy your meal. What a nice doggy. Thanks a lot, doggy. Yeah, uh, Mikey, you realize what we can do now, right? We can finally get this door open. Yeah. Come on, don't drag your feet. Open up. Yay, that key was able to open the door. Cool. Come on, mm. hurry up and call the police. They'll definitely help us. Oh, it feels so good to be half free. Go call the police. So, what's their number? Are you serious right now? Huh, no, I remember everything. Hello, this is the police. Hello, we've been kidnapped by Ryder. Very, very scary. We're on Cube Island, please help. We're locked in a cave right now. We're on our way, stand by. All we have to do is wait for help from the police, and that's it. We'll be free. Yeah, but I think we're forgetting something. Oh, hmm. Oh, that's what I forgot. Well, well, well. Oh, my God. So the food decided not to wait and came out of the grill to be eaten? What are you talking about, you madman? We don't look like food at all. Please don't eat us, we don't taste good. We eat a lot of junk food. <laughs> no! Ah! Hey, who are you? On the floor, now! Ouch! Uh, Mikey? Oh, hmm. What's going on? Uh, what did you do? Well, we just called the police and they came. Freeze, don't move. Oh, no. We've been looking for you for a long time, Skibbity Toilet. Keep an eye on this criminal. Yes, sir. Oh! Yay, you saved us! So how are you kids? We almost got eaten. I'm horrified. Nightmare. I heard that this criminal is not very good with his head, but to eat children. He's insane. Oh, good thing we got here in Ouch. time. He's a very bad toilet. Attack! Ouch. Let's go outside. Ouch. We've already contacted your parents. Oh, that's great. They should be here any minute. I think they're incredibly worried about us right now. And you wait for your new term in prison. <laughs> You'll be hearing more about me. Oh, what a creepy guy. JJ, look. Oh, and it turns out he did share a bone with his friend. Cool. What a nice doggy. Yeah. We've got Ryder's boy. He's under some kind of weird hypnosis right now. That's 
That's what I thought! Something's wrong with him! We're trying to bring him back to his senses, but so far, no luck. I must bring them to the cave. That's an order for me. Do you know Ouch. how scared I was? Stop! Well, Ouch. I don't feel sorry for him at all. Hmm. That's enough, boy. It's going to take us a long time to get the truth out of this zombie. Hee <laughs> Uh, can I hit him again? No, he's had enough suffering for one day. I wanted to. Your parents are here. Cool! I wonder what their reaction is. Kids! Oh, I get it. They're terrified. Yay! Good to see you. We came as soon as we were told you were in danger. Kids! Are you all right? What happened here? It's all good now. The perpetrator has been caught. We were incredibly scared. He's not dangerous now. Did he have time to hurt our children? No, they're perfectly fine. You don't have to worry. That's great. Let's go home. Oh, I'm so hungry. I brought a snack for both of you. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty hungry, too. You've been through so much. Yeah, but I think that's our experience, too. It's all great. <laughs> oh, JJ. What a great kidnapping and imprisonment experience. All right, that's it. That's enough. Let's go, JJ. Say goodbye to the policeman and let's go home. You must be tired. You have to tell us everything about what happened today. We'll tell you all about it. Okay, we'll look forward to it. Yeah. They were so excited that I didn't even have time to say anything. Hey. Yeah, we're going to have a lot to tell them. Hey. Take care, boys, and have a great day. All the best to you, too. Bye. JJ, it's been a long but interesting adventure. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. Did you like this video? If yes, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Love you all. Bye-bye.